In this video, I want to take a trip down memory lane and compile all my Common Island 100 Days videos into one big video for you guys. Since I've been on the Common Island server and making these videos, I have gained over two and a half thousand subscribers, which is over half my subscriber count now. So thank you guys so much for that. You can expect even more Common content from me in the future. But for now, sit down, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy this 300 days on Cobbamon. In today's video, I'll be catching every single Pokemon in Cobbamon. However, Cobbamon doesn't actually have that many Pokemon. Unless you're playing on the Cobbamon Island server. This server has its own custom Pokemon modelers ahead of the actual Cobbamon devs in numbers of Pokemon. They've added Pokemon like Tyranitar, Metagross, a whole bunch of new Generation 9 Pokemon, including the legendary Pokemon in Maridon and also Coridon. My goals for this video are to get a full team of level 100 Pokemon, catch a legendary Pokemon, and finally, defeat the owner of the server. If you guys want to join the server, I'll leave the links to the Discord and the IP address in the description. Now, let's complete the Pokedex. When you first spawn in, you're greeted by this little mini guy who sort of looks like me with a mask on, which looks really cool. After this though, I headed straight over to the crate area as I wanted to see what was there. And I saw that there are currently four different types of crates. That being the plushie crate, the voting crate, the poker crate, and finally the event crate. These are all unique and my personal favorite out of these is the poker crate. You might be wondering why. Well, these are actually found in the wild. As well in the voting crates, you can also get shinies, but it's less of a chance and you're only limited to eight a day, whereas poker crates, you can find an endless amount. Also, I got a free Dragonite plushie for logging in for the first time, as well as a Pikachu couch. I then went ahead and claimed my daily reward, as well as my streak reward, as if you log in every day for seven days consistently, you can get some awesome rewards from this. I'm still yet to choose my starter Pokemon, but I think I'm gonna go for Froakie, as Greninja is made for the coolest design starter Pokemon. Not to mention, even though it wasn't available when I played on the server, they are looking to add Ash Greninja to the game. Also now, even more Pokemon give shoulder pet Pokemon effects, like Froakie giving me water breathing. But it's enough for Froakie for now. I'm gonna level him all the way up to level 20 of these rare candies, and doing that, I think you know what it means. I can now evolve my Froakie up into a Frogadier, which not only gets me one step closer to Greninja, but also one step closer to completing the Pokedex. Now I got a few vote crate keys, and you can do this by just voting for the server by doing slash vote, and it will give you loads of options. I got some okay rewards like a barrel for the mass balls, which is a really cool item and really cool decoration. I also got a few Pokeballs, like some Dream Balls and some Quick Balls, which was really good. Not to mention, every time you vote, you get a few Emeralds, which means when you find a village, you can go trade these. They also have their own custom shop where you can buy even more Pokeballs, you can buy armor, you can even buy the custom furniture. Now, one of the coolest features is Slash Gliders, and by doing this, you can see that there's Gliders. These are a bit like Elytras, but look so much cooler. And automatically, you always get the Pikachu Glider. But there's always more available by heading onto the shop. And as you can see, there's a Mega Lucario bundle. And you get all this stuff, including a Mega Lucario Glider. And also a Mega Lucario Glider Shiny, which is so cool. Now, it's time for us to head out into the world. And when you teleport to the world, straight away, you are on your glider. And you teleport like this. This is amazing as it means you can scout out the area before you even land and you look awesome while doing it. Now, I wasn't too sure where I wanted to land or what I was actually looking for. All I know is I wanted to find some new Pokemon. With the landing in this biome though, I found a Ghastly and I decided to get my first win with Frogadier against it. As I know later, there'll be loads more Ghastlies to find. I also beat this Galarian Linoon, and some of these Pokemon are already level 20s, which is really scary, but Frogadier now is level 22. I then found this Luxray, which I was like, okay, right, let's try and capture this thing, but it broke out pretty quick, and then it started to attack me. I didn't know what was going on, but this is a new feature, that Pokemon will come down, chase you, and attack you if they are aggressive. 
like this Luxray. I was absolutely terrified of this thing. Now, even though I kept running away, I could have just thrown a Pokeball at it and it would have stopped. But yeah, I was being a bit silly at this point, I guess. So I ended up throwing the Pokeball at it and it actually worked. And I didn't quite catch it this time, but I ended up catching a little Nackley, which is my first Pokemon captured. And I actually do end up capturing this Luxray, but not in an Ultra Ball. I end up capturing it in a Great Ball. It broke out this time. I threw the Great Ball and I was able to capture it. But not only while I was fighting this Luxray, there was also a Nido Queen over in the distance, which I wanted to get. But unfortunately, it despawned by the time I had a chance to go and get it. But now with this Luxray, it looks so cool and it's going to help me in so many battles. I then thought, you know what? Onyx, pretty big Pokemon. Let's capture it now because then it's off the list and we know we don't have to worry about capturing an Onyx later on when we need to evolve it to a Steelix. Oh no, it's time to stop me. Run, run away, run away. Okay, right. That was a bit scary, but let's go capture this Gyarados. And Gyarados actually change colors depending on the biome you're in. So because we're in a jungle biome, this is a green Gyarados. And I was able to capture the Gyarados pretty easily. I headed back to spawn and checked out the poker hunts as each one would give a different reward depending on the level you did. So if I did an easy hunt, it was going to give me a little reward, maybe like a few XP candies. But if I did an extreme one, I would get some mega rewards. My first one was a Taurus in a heavy ball, which I thought was a bit difficult to start off with, but we might come back to it. I then end up teleporting back out and doing a new RTP. And I still just cannot get over these gliders. Just starting in the air like this is amazing. Because what you can do as well is F3, check the area you're in, and then fly to a new one if you're high enough up, which I was here. But I wanted to check out some of the new biomes. And the biome I was actually landing in was Yellowstone. And in this Yellowstone biome, I could actually get the legendary Pokemon Maridon here. So if I waited around enough, maybe I was able to capture a Maridon. I might have to come back here. But while here, I may have found the most aggressive Pokemon in the game. That being weird here. It attacks you no matter what. You could be 50 blocks away and it would hunt you down. This weird here though, I end up actually capturing it and adding it to the Pokedex, but not to my team just yet. I also end up finding a Swablu as I wanted to try out an Altaria in this game, as I've never really used an Altaria before. I then end up catching myself a Gimme Goal, as we need to find out how to actually evolve Gimme Goal in this game to its evolution, Goldengo. As normally you have to capture enough Gimme Ghouls to get the Gimme Ghoul coins, so we'll have to find out how they do it in this game. I did end up finding this Pokemon Center, but unfortunately there was no chest in it to get a loot crate, but there was a PC and I ended up stealing the PC so I could access my team whenever I wanted to and change it out where I wanted to. I finished off the days though by actually capturing an Eevee in this village and I forgot to actually check the village for any chest so I might have missed out on some really good loot in here. But finally, after capturing the Eevee, I was able to go ahead and capture a Garvantula as well. An awesome feature every server has is the fact that it has warps, like spawn warp and everything. But this server has certain player warps, so players have the option to actually make a warp for every other player to access. This place is called Blisstown, and they sell you certain items, they have PCs ready to go, and they have everything you'll actually ever need. I ended up buying quite a few Pokeballs, and they also have an area where you can buy plushie crates and everything like that. It's so cool. I then got a surprise visit from the server owner. This was a shock, and he gave this item, and this is an exclusive item called the Tinkerton Hammer. Now this item clears out mass area when you use it, and this item they're making available in crates very soon. The server owner actually let me keep this item for this 100 days, as he wanted me to be able to get as much resources as I can to help me get the best team to try to defeat him, and I will defeat you Diablo. I finished these days by capturing up some more Pokemon like Orbeetle. I then went to one of the new areas called Goomtown, another player walk. And this walk was so cool as well with a custom Pokemon center and places to buy loads of evolution items, which is great. I also found a village where I wanted to find some poker crate keys, but unfortunately I couldn't find any in here. But this trip wasn't a total waste as it was an RTP. There were loads of different Pokemon hanging around. So I ended up catching myself a Tinkerton. 
Of course I get this as soon as I get the Tinkerton Hammer. I also found an Eevee, Dwebble, Sandshrew, Durant, loads of different Pokemon, which was amazing. And I, of course, captured as many as I could because the end goal is to complete the Pokedex, which we have to do. I then found another town this time in a snow biome from an RTP. And once again, I couldn't find any Poker Crate keys until I looked in this chest, which had so much stuff. You can get a salt vest. And like I said, all these chests are custom to each player. So it doesn't matter if someone else gets the chest first, it will stay custom to you. So I opened up my first Poker Crate key, got some quick balls, which I'll never be too angry about. And after I opened up my second one, I end up getting 32 more quick balls after that which is amazing. Another stack of Quick Balls, which will help me capture as many Pokemon as possible. But as you can see, I could have got a Master Ball, some Poke Builder Coins, a Training Bundle, loads of different things. Right, challenge time. If you guys are still here, you have till I land to subscribe to our channel and tell me in the comments, what's your favorite legendary Pokemon? You haven't got long. I'm coming down quick on this glider. You got about five, four, three, two, one better decide quick down right let me know what your favorite legendary was and i better have seen you subscribed i went back to my main objective for a bit and ended up capturing this basca and it was a white strap one which meant i could evolve it into a basca legion later on after capturing the basca though i decided to check out my pc i wanted to change my team up a little bit as some of these pokemon i knew i didn't want on the end so i end up bringing in a swab blue as like i said earlier i really want to use an altaria while playing cobble I also added in Rolt, Tinker Tink, and a few other Pokemon here and there. Just trying to level them up and trying to put as much of the decks as possible. After this, I realized I actually found a glitch. As with the Tinkerton Hammer, if you break a PC, you get two back as there's two blocks of it. I end up reporting this though, as we don't want this glitch in the game. I then went and caught a Corvus Squire, Obstacle and also a Pelipper. And then I found this random loot on the floor. And this loot actually gave me a large XP candy. So I end up going to heal Frogadier up and while capturing Saryu, I used it on Frogadier. And this XP candy got him four levels, which meant I'm only three levels away from getting Greninja. I then can believe when I found a wild Wailord and after capturing it, another one had spawned just in the distance. That's so insane to see the biggest Pokemon in the wild like that. I then found this Pokemon Center on this hill and it looked amazing. And even though there was no Poker Creek keys in here, there were some great hold items like leftovers. And also there was a Galarian Cuff and also a Magmarizer, which is great for the evolutions that I'll need later on. After I got these two, I end up capturing this Viker Ball, which is insane to find in the wild. It's great to see such a wide variety of Pokemon. And as you can see on the Pokedex, every Pokemon with a model is in the game. That means there's over 500 Pokemon in this game. And even if they do have a substitute, they might still be in the game, they just don't have a model designed for them. Cobblemon Island is great at getting so many models out and producing them fast as well. And they even have the Leshy Pokemon, as you can see, Maridon, Anchoridon, and even some Paradox Pokemon. I then find another chest and I actually got a medium XP candy where I was able to give it to Frogadier and now he's two levels away from Greninja. And then I end up finding loads of Pokemon in the Ice Ram that I have never caught before. Ice Q, Bergmite, and also a Dugong. I did end up catching all of these after loads and loads of Dust Balls. I then also caught this Shelder and a few other Pokemon like Celio, Tentacle, just loads of water type Pokemon that spawn in the ice. I then found a treasure map and you guys know what that means. I have to go hunting for this treasure. But I actually almost died so if I didn't slash spawn there, I was finished and I wouldn't be able to get back there. But I actually had a few XP candies. So I gave all these to Frogadier and there was only a few left to get. So I gave them all to Frogadier to get to level 39, which meant I can now get Greninja. Wait, what? That's not Greninja. Okay, there we go. Fine. We're fine, guys. No worries. Right. Let's go back there and let's find this treasure. And I was really hoping this treasure, maybe I could get a Poke Crit Key, or maybe even something better, like an Event Crit Key, as they are possible to find. I actually ended up capturing this Ditto on the way to finding it. As I got closer and closer, we end up finding a treasure, and once again, it's all player-based, so it doesn't matter if someone else finds it, you still get it. And I got three large XP candies, 
So no crate keys, unfortunately. But I ended up giving these, all these to Swablu. And that meant I was one level away from an Altaria. Just look at this as well. I'm finding Pokemon like Avalanche here in the world. Final evolution Pokemon. That is just ridiculous. And at the start of day 20 to 21, I end up finding a Yellowstone biome. And yes, the first legendary Pokemon I have spawned is a Maridon. I couldn't believe it. I was just here searching for new Pokemon. I had no idea that a legendary was going to spawn over here. I was in no way prepared for this at all. My team were low level. I think the highest level I had was my Luxray at 35 or maybe my Greninja. I think it was maybe 40 or something. I was having to use my Nackley at level 18 to damage a level 70 Pokemon. That was the only thing that could actually hurt it. I was in no way prepared for this legendary battle. However, I had to get a master from somewhere and there were conversations going on in the chat between me and other players so that I could potentially buy a master ball from them. And if I could be able to buy the master ball, this Moridon I could capture. But I didn't think it was actually going to happen. I thought this was over and I would lose the Moridon. But luckily, I was actually able to buy a master ball and I got into battle with it, with my Wailer that I grabbed from the PC and I threw the master ball at the Moridon and I was able to capture it. This was my first legendary Pokemon on the server and I'm going to make sure this is my first Pokemon to level 100. And with that, our first objective is complete to catch a legendary Pokemon. Let's go. And of course, I had to go to one of the towns to show it off to everyone and show them how cool this design is and just how massive Moridon looks. Other people were showing off the legendaries and the owner even visited to see. And Diablo, I'm going to defeat you with it. I still couldn't go away from my main goal, which is to complete the Pokedex. So I was still focusing on capturing loads of Pokemon. But while finding this abandoned Pokemon, I was actually able to get leftovers and also a Thunderstone, which meant I could get even more Pokemon evolved and get the Pokedex completed. As you saw as well, I got two lucky eggs, which is insane for leveling up legendary Pokemon and also pseudo legendaries. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Make sure you go and subscribe. Now, I was still searching for new biomes as none of these biomes I've really explored before on this server. So I had to keep exploring and every time I explored a biome, there was something new. Like there was just a random Alolan Executor chilling around on this beach. Why? I don't know. I guess because Hawaii and everything would make sense. I then ended up finding this village which looked insane. It had a castle and everything and I thought, wow, these villages are massive. And each of them has its own unique design, which I absolutely love about it. I was also here capturing a few Pokemon like Scavillan and loads of different other ones, which you haven't caught before, as we need that Pokedex completed, as there are probably over 500 Pokemon in Cobblemon Islands. I end up actually finding a place that I thought was a really cool area to build a base in. And that's just what I wanted to do here, was I wanted this to be my home base so that I knew this would be where all our stuff goes down to. If we ever need a TP back to somewhere that's not spawn, we can come here. I then did a Wonder Shade and actually got an Aegislas, which is insane, and I'm definitely adding this to my team. In this village I found as well, you see, I got a Poker Crate key, which is just incredible. I also caught a Blossom and also a Psyduck while here, but now I need to go open this Poker Crate key. And there are so many different things that I could get here. I could get some cool cosmetics or even five more poker crate keys so I can get some more items. But I'm not going to be mad with some money as I can spend this on the GTS to buy some Pokemon or even buy some blocks for the building. I end up clearing out this massive area. I also found a level 57 Ludicolo. And if I were to add this to my team, it would be my highest level Pokemon with the exception of Maridon. I then decided to place down some maple corn trees as I need to start crafting my own Pokeballs and not just rely on the ones that I get in the crates. And as you see as well, in the voting crates, I actually got some tables and stuff, but I got five more Poker Crate keys and also 16 rare candies. These voting crates are actually insane. You know, it's worth doing your votes and voting for the server. I then got 1,200 more claim blocks, which is insane, which means I can actually expand where my house is going to be. And I did just that. The next thing I did was I decided to fish for a little bit, as fishing is a little bit different in this game, as you can level up your fishing skill, 
but also your poker fishing skill. And at the low levels, it's quite rare to find something like a Lapras. However, the more you level up your fishing, the higher percentage you have of getting a legendary. And the rarity changes. So I want to level up my fishing as much as I can so I could potentially get something like a Suicune or even a Walking Wake, which would be incredible. This is on my first fish here. I got a Poliwag, which is one of the rarer catches for the level I was at. I then end up wanting to get a Gallade, but I mistakenly didn't see that my Curlia was actually female, which meant it had to be a Gardevoir. But I'm not going to complain looking at this design. There was also an issue with the server where it went down for a little bit, and the server owner actually rewarded everyone with a Poker Crate key. And different things like this happen, as if there's any faults on the server, they then reward the player to make up for it, which is incredible. Unfortunately, I only got some dive balls, which might be the worst thing in the poker crate. I'm not going to show every time I'm fishing, but just so you guys know, I am fishing throughout these days at points so I can up my fishing skill, as there might be something later for an event where I need my fishing up. And as you see here on the side, I can see my fishing level. This is my poker fishing level. My overall fishing level will change and I need to get that well up so that I can get a better chance of getting a legendary Pokemon. I decided now is a good time though to start building my house as I needed a proper base of operations. So that's just what I did. However, I actually didn't know what sort of base I wanted to build if it wanted to be a proper house or just a little hut or something. I just sort of went with the flow and decided on what I was going to do at the time. And I just wanted to use different blocks and go with something that stands out to everyone and be like, I know whose house that is. Nothing generic. So that's just what I did. I ended up building sort of a base house area and then would build from that. But I couldn't just do that. I wanted to use some of the cool cosmetics that they've added into the game and some of the building items that they've got here. So some of the custom tables. This executor lamp looks absolutely insane. And I've definitely got to have two of these down. And then there were the custom te Tematic? Is it Tematic? Tematic table, I guess? Sure. And then obviously, I've got to put my Dragonite Plushie that I got at the start. I also got to have some glass. I've got to be able to set my windows and get some light into my house. But then I realized these Apricot trees are actually in the way. So I end up destroying a few of them, but I will end up taking the rest of them down later on. I didn't really like the birch wood I had on the side there, and I will be getting rid of that. First, I need to go back out exploring as I need to level my team up to level 100, but also continue to complete the Pokedex. These Ludicolos as well were everywhere for the time being, and I leveled off these so much. They were ranging from about level 30 to maybe level 60 at times. And my Marado now is level 75, and he takes these out easily with just one discharge. So I could use the switch training with the Lucky Eggs to level them up. I also end up finding loads of other fully evolved Pokemon, like this Quagsite, and taking them out for XP. And there's level 42 Pidgeot. And I had to capture this thing, because if you guys remember my first couple 100 days, Pidgeot killed my Sableye, and I absolutely love Sableye. I then ended up capturing as well this level 41 Scyther. And Scyther is insane. Not only is that and Scizor one of my favorite Pokemon in the game, but also it knows false swipes. And that means I can get Pokemon down to 1 HP and makes them easier to capture. There are also loads of these Cricketune, which you see is level 52. I've never seen someone with a Cricketune so high level. Now, you might have probably mentioned it earlier, but there are events that go on. And later on in these 100 days, there is going to be a fishing event. And in this fishing event, they will have different rounds. And the winner gets some absolutely insane rewards. They can range from things like Master Balls to Legendary Pokemon, anything. And as you can see here, there is a difference between poker fishing and normal fishing. You see, I have a 0.01% chance for a Legendary or a Mythical. So I need to level up my fishing loads. I went to different biomes to see what different Pokemon I actually get. But not forgetting to level up my team. Because the fishing that I was doing, I wasn't getting the highest level Pokemon. So I had to go to the wild to find the level 40s. There are also these random loots in the wild as well. As you can see, there's an Ultra Ball loot. And it ranges from Pokeball to Ultra Ball. And the Ultra Ball loot give the best rewards. As you can see, I've got a large XP candy. Which I threw on my Altara to get it to level 44. So I can learn things like Dragon Pulse and Moon Blast. I continue to level off things like Ariados. Just getting as much XP as I can. As I wanted to have a really high level team. And I need them all to be level 100. 
I then ended up finding this village, which was insane. And I ended up getting, wait, what? Okay, Diablo. I ended up finding some more Pokemon here though. That is x -Bard. And I thought, wow, x -Bard. Third evolution Pokemon. This thing has got to be rare. Oh, come on. There's another one right here. This is what I mean. It changes depending on the actual date and probably if you log in. There's going to be different Pokemon that actually pop up for you. So you've got to make sure you log in every day. And that's how you get your Pokedex completed so much. I've actually got 72 Pokemon. And that Pokedex number hasn't been updated for a while, they say. So there is actually more than 367 Pokemon here. That made me urgent to catch as many Pokemon as possible. As if I've only got 72 and we're on day 35 right now, I've got to rush it so much. I need to go out on a capturing spree and capture absolutely anything I haven't caught before. I need to not focus on leveling for a bit and I need to just capture as much Pokemon as I can. As you see, I'm catching Bouflaunts, Swellows, Pokemon you might have never seen before and Pokemon I've never seen before. We were just focused on capturing as many Pokemon as possible, as that's what we needed to do. However, I couldn't catch these Pokemon outside of battle, so I would have to waste a bit of time going into battle. But as you see there, I've gone up so many on this day 35 to 38. When I did find high level Pokemon that I had already captured, like Spasca Legion, I would take them out so I could get the levels to continue to get my team to level 100. And I'm still quite a way off, so we're going to need to buy some rare candies large xp candies and we're gonna have to complete some poker hunts to be able to get more of these as you see i found this level 55 weirder and we were taking them out so that we could still continue to level our team i end up finding this village but with no prevail unfortunately the village had no poker crate keys in it for us but it was still cool to find this village we then went back to building our house and it was time to focus on what we needed to do i end up placing some more of the cool items they had and custom builds and cleared out the rest of the Apcon trees. Like I said, I wanted to go with a house that was unique and I didn't really know what to do with that. I didn't have enough money to actually finish building the roof. So I had to go back out and capture Pokemon and also defeat them. And as you see here, every time you defeat Pokemon, you get some money for it. So I need to go out and defeat Pokemon and capture them so I can earn money to buy blocks. I then found this awesome building, which is called a Professor's Laboratory which is a broken down professor's laboratory. And this thing has ultra good loot. And look in this barrel, what? Two poker keys and a link cable. That means any trade evolution Pokemon I can do by myself with that link cable. I also got an EXP share and I went over to open my poker crate keys. And would you know, I end up getting a training bundle, which is insane. Five more red candies, which means I can use them on my ride on. I always end up purchasing myself a Master Ball so that if I run into another Legendary, I'm able to capture it. I end up getting more Dive Balls in the second crate though, which is really unfortunate. However, with that though, I had enough money now so I could finish the roof. And like I said, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew it was going to be unique and nothing anyone's ever seen before. I end up building out this little area and I was going to build up and build a pillar going over the top and it would create sort of like a dome. So I end up in the staircase up and everything. And then at a point, I was turning the staircase around so that it goes back on itself. And it might look a little bit weird right now, but when you guys see the finished product, I promise this thing will look insane. Replace this glass box down so we can see the whole way out. And as you can see here, this side that we're gonna go for, we're gonna do that on both sides and go up to meet a point. If you guys want to come see the base, these are the coordinates as well. I then went to start my first hunt, that being an easy hunt, for a bond suite. Now, I didn't know what the hunt rewards were like, but we'll come back to this a bit later on. I end up looking on the GTS and end up buying these Sableye goggles. Now, you might think, what do these Sableye goggles do? Well, to be honest, not a lot, but it's Sableye. And you guys know me, I have to love Sableye. And these cosmetics are amazing and it makes your character look really cool. Now, what you do here to access them is you do slash cosmetics and then go to not your emotes, but to your hats. And you can see Sableye goggles, equip them and boom, I'm now wearing the Sableye goggles. And you have loads of different cosmetics like this. And they have just added something called ranked battles to the server. And you can get different cosmetics like this, Giratina, Zapdos, and even Arceus cosmetic. 
to make yourself stylish in the server. I then wanted to go to the end to find some more Pokemon like the unknowns and see what Pokemon I could actually capture here. As I know the end is filled with psychic type Pokemon. And I can believe it. Whilst we're in the end, a legendary Lunala spawned in the end. This had to be on me. I was searching around frantically for this thing. And I couldn't believe it when I actually saw the Lunala. Only a few days after buying a mask, we just in case we find another legendary. And Lunala looked insane. This design might be one of my favorites. But I couldn't actually find where the R to battle it was. So I ended up running away from this thing because I thought it was going to beat me and try and kill me. But luckily, I found out where it was and I tried to throw the mask at it, but I couldn't find its hit point. And without finding this hit point, I might lose the mask because the mask might either break or I could just lose it through an item wipe. Luckily, after about five throws, though, I actually end up finding the hit point of the Lunala and was able to capture it and capturing the Lunala, I think you guys know what that means. We are going to have to go to spawn to show it off to everyone. And once again, the server on a Diablo pops by to have a look while even wearing the Lunala cosmetic. That's right. We now have two legendary Pokemon on our team. Let's go. It came to that part of the day as well for me where I was actually able to wonder trade a Pokemon away. And in this wonder trade, I couldn't believe it. I actually got a bag on. What is my luck right now? Salamence is my favorite pseudo legendary Pokemon. And the fact that I've just got a bag on is insane. I put the lucky egg on him, switch trained him on a level 43 Durant. And look at the levels he gets. Off this one Durant, he went up from level 8 to level 22. That means he's almost at Shelgon already, which is insane. I then didn't find this broken Pokemon Center down. And the first chest I found wasn't too good, to be honest. But what happened next was really crazy. I ended up finding down this one hole, and it was into a mob spawner. I ended up dying and going back to spawn. However, I ended up just doing a slash back, so go back to the area. And this might be the luckiest fool in the world. I fell down, and I got a few time balls, which isn't anything special. But in this crate, look at that, a poker crate key. That might be the luckiest fool in the history. And would you know, from the poker crate key, what do I get? I end up getting not only something good, but something amazing for me. That being a Pokemon training bundle, which means more rare candies. And that's insane. I then had a present waiting for me back at home. And this chest was filled with loads of furniture for me, which meant I could decorate my house loads, which is great for me. I ended up clearing up inventory quite heavily and I went ahead and straight to use loads of the furniture I got. I built a mini setup, so I had a chair, a desk, placed these pictures down, had my slippers on the floor. I even built a mini bedroom upstairs. I also had these lampposts down and my house now was looking unique and it was standing out. I then went out to find my Pokemon, which was this Bond Suite. And after quite a few attempts at trying to capture it in this Safari Ball, I was able to capture it. But it did take a long, long, long time to capture it. But I ended up getting five Poker Builder tokens, which is insane. Because of those, I can change the EVs, IVs of Pokemon, also the natures. I can change my Pokemon to make them stronger and better for the final battle. I continued to level, and after being a Tangrowth, my Bagon was finally able to evolve into a Shellgon. And with it now at level 31, that meant we are only 29 levels away from having ourselves a Salamence. And I cannot wait to see the Salamence design. The next thing that happened is I end up finding this village. And in this village, it would be a very lucky village. So I didn't find just one Poker Crate Key. No, no, no. I ended up finding three Poker Crate Keys, but also able to capture some new Pokemon like Bronzor I've never seen before. There's a second Poker Crate Key. And finally, the third Poker Crate Key, all found in this village. And I didn't have the best of luck in my Poker Crate Keys, to be honest. Until the last one, let's say. Because in this first one, I'm only joking, obviously. I always have luck right now, it seems. And in this first one, I end up getting a Pokemon Training Bundle. In the second one, I got some Shulker Shells. But then in this last one, I end up getting 
a power ban, which means that I can actually now EV train my Pokemon in defense if I wanted to. But I had my Vote Crate keys left to finish off, and I ended up getting five Poke Crate keys from my Vote Crates. It is 100% worth voting on the server because you never know what you're going to get, whether it's going to be a Pokemon, Everstone, or five Poke Crate keys. I ended up getting 50 Poke Builder tokens as well, which is incredible. And in this last opening, I ended up getting about 20,000 Pokemon, which meant I had 34,000 Poke Dollars. The owner then came and visited me and gave me a new item that's being added to the Poke Crates, which is a backpack which is a double chest that you can carry around and put your items in, which is incredible. And I'm 100% going to use this to carry around my Pokeballs. I went back to leveling and capturing Pokemon that I hadn't seen before to up the Pokedex numbers. I caught a Cacturn. I then caught this Dedenne, which look how cute this Dedenne is. I didn't think it'd be that small. But if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe as it really helps me out and if we grow this channel loads i might even do a giveaway on this server and the higher level my pokemon start to get now as well i find higher level pokemon and new pokemon like that so i found this over 43 wigglytuff so if i keep leveling my team i'm gonna find more fully evolved pokemon even like this mamo swine so it is now urgent that we level up our team to their final stages so we can find more Pokemon like Mamoswine and Wigglytuff. We then end up finding another village where I get two more Pokerate keys from it. And in these Pokerate keys, I end up getting some more dive balls, which I'm really fed up of seeing right now. But in the other one, I end up getting a free Pokemon. And I had to go see what this Pokemon was because if it's something new, it might be able to help us out in the Pokedex. And would you know, it was a chancy. A new Pokemon, which is one more added to the Pokedex. We are well over 100 Pokemon now and on our way to 200. I then end up doing another Wonder Trade and we get a Hitmontop. Another new Pokemon, which I definitely wasn't going to see in the wild. And look how cool Hitmontop was. I wish it was spinning on his head though. That would be an insane animation. I then end up going on an absolute spree of evolutions. So I evolved my Flaffy into an Ampharos. I then evolve my Abracadabra and then use the link cable to get an Alakazam. I then evolve Eevee to Jolteon, Shroomish to Breloom. I end up getting a Mightyana, Sand Slash, Yanmega, Nidorina. I end up evolve my Caterpie into a Metapod, Marrow to Zoomeril. I end up doing so many. I lost Cal. I evolve my Stealth to Beware, Oddish to Gloom. And finally, I got my shell gone to level 50, which meant Salamance. And this design, I love it. 100% my favorite design I've seen so far. Better than Lunala, better than Maridon. I just love Salamance so much. I then continued to work at my house and wanted to go an entire glass dome over the top. But while doing so, I found a Larvitar running around in my house. This is what I mean. I ended up putting him on my shoulder after capturing him, and I knew this was going to be another Pokemon in my final team. I put the EXP share on Lavatos, so when I went to level him up, I would be able to get in as high level as possible so I could get my Tyranitar very, very soon. I ended up heading to Blisstown after this, and I couldn't believe it. When at Blisstown, a wild Noivan had spawned at level 61. This thing, I had to capture it 100%. I do end up capturing, and that's insane for the Pokedex. I've not even seen a Noibat yet. Insane capture. I then finally leveled up my Lavatar so I could actually get it to a Pupitar. And now all we need is to get it to a Tyranitar. And then it will be a solid member to our team. We continue to level though off a of Pokemon like Pelipper. And even after finding this new village, we weren't actually able to get any Pokecrate keys. But while here, we made some Moon Balls. As I had a hunt for a Baneri, and I need to capture it in a Moonball. As these poke hunts, you need specific Pokeballs to capture them in. So with this Baneri, I end up capturing it in a Moonball, and these easy hunts at this point, they weren't giving me what I needed to. I needed bigger rewards. 2,000 poke coins isn't enough. We need to go for one of the extreme hunts, or one of the hard hunts, to see what the rewards are like on them.
I decided to continue working on my house and I knew there was something missing on this middle layer and I decided to build the prismary fence all around it as I just wanted to use as many different blocks as I could. And I thought this actually looked pretty cool and it gave a bit more brightness to it and it gave a bit of an archway and I was really happy with how this was starting to look. And this house was really starting to take shape. I then saw a boulder in the distance and I thought I haven't caught one yet. But in the corner of my eye, I also spotted that there was a Beldum just chilling over here. With this Beldum, this meant I would not only have a Tyranitar, Salamance, but also a Metagross. Three of the strongest pseudo-legendary Pokemon in the game. I had to go level this thing. There was no way I couldn't get this thing into a Metagross and use it on my team. Can I also just say that these easy hunts, 50 claim blocks, that's not enough for me now. I can only go for the extreme ones. They are way too easy at this point. If we're looking at it as well, our Pokedex, we are now at 165. We're not even halfway there yet. We need to step our game up on this Pokedex catching. But I can't find any new Pokemon anymore. It's getting really difficult to actually find them. But I end up going to spawn after getting two Pokerit keys from this village. And in the Pokerit keys, I basically just end up getting a load more money, which I'm not going to complain about. Getting 10,000 Poker Dollars and then 5,000 Poker Dollars isn't the worst thing to get as it means I can purchase Pokemon off the GTS but also blocks to help me build my house. So I'm not going to complain at getting money from my Poker Crates. And can I just say, look at the scenery of this place. To have the scenery and play for this is insane. And when I can find Pokemon like Scolopede in the wild as well to capture, that is incredible. To go to the scenery and same Pokemon like Scolopede, amazing. I ended up getting really close to my Metang being able to evolve into a Metagross and I continued and wanted to push and push and push as I wanted to get that level 100 Pokemon with my Maridon. And I actually found my first wild star Pokemon, that being a Poplio, so I definitely had to capture this thing. And with Poplio caught now, we have two star Pokemon, that being Greninja and Poplio. So we need to find a few more of them to be able to capture and complete this Pokedex. We wouldn't stop there though as we needed to keep beating Pokemon like the Weird Air, and my Maridon was getting super close to level 94. But when I saw that I actually had a playtime reward after capturing the Sneasel, my playtime reward of 12 hours, it gave me 10 rare candies, which meant my Maridon was the first of my Pokemon to reach level 100. That is one out of six. So we might have a Maridon at level 100, but we still need to get five more Pokemon to level 100. This is going to be a challenge. We need to work super hard to be able to complete this now. I was finally able to get my Matang to evolve into Metagross so as it only is 45 to evolve and not 50 or 50 like, like some of the other pseudo legendary Pokemon. I end up finding another village where I got one more Poker Crate key and in this Poker Crate key I end up getting some more training bundles which is good for the rare candies as I would now start to use these on Lunala so I can level it up as well to level 100. And I thought one Pokerit key isn't enough. So I did some trades for Pokemon and I may have gone overboard. We now have 20 Pokerit keys to open. And I'm not going to show you all of these because otherwise we're just going to be sat here for ages looking at this Diapus. We don't need that. We got some Shulker shells. We got some training packs and stuff. We even got one of the swords. So there's a Pokeball sword, which we actually ended up obtaining, which is insane. But there were so many dive balls, I couldn't believe it. I kept getting dive ball after dive ball. But luckily, I also got some other balls like quick balls. I got quite a lot of money, training bundles and everything. Let's see here. I'm showing you the first half. So we got, like I said, loads of training bundles, not much money. But we got loads of quick balls and everything. I ended up getting 50 Pokeball tokens as well, which was insane. Overall, it was pretty good, but nothing special. No shiny legendaries, no shiny Pokemon at all, nothing. Speaking of legendaries, while fishing, I end up getting a Suicune. Um, that's not meant to happen. That's not part of the script. Luckily, I had purchased another mask with the amount of money I'd got from all those Pokecrit keys, and I was actually able to capture the Suicune. Somebody else thought it was on them, but no, this was my Suicune. That is now Lunala, Maridon, and Suicune as my legendaries, plus 
three pseudo legendaries. This team is looking insane. We had to go to spawn to show off, and the owner was shocked that I actually got this through fishing. This is why you have to level up your fishing, as it is insane. And you can get the legendary Pokemon like Suiko and Walking Wake through your fishing. I end up getting 20 more rare candies through Poker Great Geese and everything. And now we are one level away on the Lugala to being level 100. Right, now let's finish off the basis of our house. So we need loads of stairs, loads of glass so we can finish this all off. I'm close to putting it all the way up now. But I want to see how this looks from the outside. We had to place glass all over so that we could see the top of it and see the staircase. Some people are running up and down on it. We're able to see them. Okay, right. Let's go get a good perspective of this. Come on. I really hope this looks good. And oh my god, it's not even symmetrical. It's not symmetrical. You know what? That's fine. That makes it more unique to us. I then ended up finding this yellow Voltorb as well. And I know Voltorb shiny is blue. So if you guys know what this yellow Voltorb is about, let me know in the comments about it. Because I have no clue why it's yellow. Maybe it's an Ultra Ball Voltorb. I realized as well, I haven't actually explored the end in these 100 days. So that's just what I did. I went to the end and caught some new Pokemon here. As there was a Gengar and Sense Scorch after me. But luckily I was able to get into battle with one of them and they stopped attacking me. With this as well, this is two more Pokemon that we needed to add to the Pokedex. I ended up catching Coughings, Weezings, Haunters, everything in here. Even like Hound Hours and stuff. I caught everything I could. Plus, the Gengars being level 50 or so was really good for XP. As you see there, 7,000 XP for Pupitar. And there's me catching a Hound Hour. Just anything I could find so that we could get our Pokedex even higher. And once again, do your vote crates. I got 16 rare candies from this. And with those 16 rare candies... That meant Lunala can now be level 100, meaning we have two level 100s. And I gave the other 15 to Suicune. So Suicune can go from level 50 all the way up to level 65, which is now insane. With two level 100s, though, we still had a bit of house building to do. Okay, so I wanted to see how we can make this even more unique. And I thought, what's the coolest thing? A floating lava case. So we've now got a floating lava case in the middle of our base. Don't know why, but why not? We then had our streak for day five, and I got five more rare candies. So this is why it's important to log in every day as you get these rewards. Because if you break for one day, you lose your streak. So make sure you log in every day for seven days to get the best possible rewards. And now we have a level 70 Suicune because of that. I then started every single hunt possible. And these are the four hunts. But the one I was focused on is that male, calm, preamble, weak armor, crossle. That was our target. And luckily with my first teleport, I actually teleported into a Mesa biome. Which meant that we could find a crossle in here straight away. But I'm going to show you something in a minute, okay? We did end up finding a few crossles on the way, okay? A few male crossles, but unfortunately... They didn't have the correct ability or they might not have had the correct nature. But this cross over here, I knew it had weak armor. I knew it was a male. I called it in the premium ball, but it had the wrong nature, which is fine. I didn't expect it to get it first time, okay? I then found another cross over, which was the same level. Male. But no, still not the right ability. Now, I'm going to show you something, okay? I ended up finding loads of crossovers, there's loads of females, there's loads of males and everything. But I spent maybe an hour running around the Mesa. This is on 50,000 speed. And I could not find a crossover to save my life. I found loads of different Pokemon so I could capture, like Gligar and stuff. But with the crossovers I found, nothing. I maybe caught over 10, 15 crossovers. I didn't have much catching Goldengo, which is insane, which meant we didn't actually have to evolve Gimme Gold. And Goldengo is insane. Luckily, though, after finding the Goldengo, there was a crossover next to it. And this crossover actually had the right everything. And we got 32 large XP candies, which is insane. I gave all of these to Suicune. So Suicune was level 72. Now, 32 large XP candies. But you guess in now, what level is it going to go to? Suicune went from level 72 all the way up 
to level 85 and a bit more. Wow. I now wanted to enclose this space a bit more. We had spruce logs and I wanted to make this so that there were pillars coming down and we were blocking off so it's not so open. But because it was actually not symmetrical, this made it really difficult to actually build and each little bit was different. So I apologize if you guys are really OCD about it. But yeah, I also bought this Eevee and Gengar plushie. Eevee's gone here and Gengar is on the other side. These plushies are amazing and I just love how they look. Like, how have they made Gengar look so cute with his little tongue sticking out and everything? But these are our little signatures. We then even built this red sandstone stuff and I didn't know what I was doing this for. I was just using blocks that I hadn't really used to build before and went with the flow. And somehow I actually thought it looks pretty cool. We even built a birch roof and I know some people are going to be annoyed because the roof isn't even symmetrical. But it's whatever. And this is our final base. We've got the glowstones to attach it and everything. And I am super happy of how this looks, to be honest. For the next few days, an event happened. And in this event, what it was, was a fishing event. And I told you about this earlier. This is the event I took part in. So if you win the event, you get an event key and also one of the legendary lake trio. And you can see these events by joining the Discord, which is in the description. Now, while these events go on, there's a few things that take into account. But this was how busy the event was. Look how many people there are. And if you take part in these events, you will see so many Pokemon. You will see so many different people. And it's a great way to get the community together. In the first round, I only had a normal fisherman. So the Pokemon I was pulling in weren't that great. But they were definitely new for me. So I hadn't found a tournament before, hadn't found a tentacle before. And I needed to capture them. This is because this is a new biome. And remember, biomes matter for what you find while fishing and if you see that a legendary actually spawned while the event was going on. a legendary tornadoes that's insane if you have this many people gathering one area a legendary is bound to spawn and i ended up not even making the top 10 in the first round so i ended up doing a few trades and actually got myself the best possible fishing rod for the second round and this meant that I'd find rarer Pokemon. And there's a few things to take into account while the event is going on. Now, the first thing is the rarity of the Pokemon. The rarer the Pokemon, the better points you get. The second thing is the IV stats. The higher the IVs, the better the Pokemon. And finally, luck, which we've had a ton of in this 100 days. But unfortunately, not enough for this event. But our luck will come later for events. I didn't make the top 10 in the second round, even with my really good fishing rod. But in the third round, I still didn't make the top 10. But the event was amazing. It was so well run and the rewards are incredible. And it is 100% worth giving these events a go. I spent so long trying to attack this tentacle in the third round that I actually had no chance of getting into the top 10 as well. The points were insane. And it goes off just one Pokemon. I end up using everything I got from those training bundles. So the irons, the proteins, everything that ups attack stats, defense stats, everything on a Pokemon. I use these as our stats need to be the best possible for this final battle with Diablo. But we only have 15 days left and we only have two Pokemon that level 100. We need to step it up. We need to complete hunts. We need to find loot in the wild. We need to go searching. I finally got a Tyranitar as well while the event was going on as I had a few XP candies. I ended up as many weirdos as possible. These things are level 60 now, okay? We needed to level our team. I'm getting a few more Pokerit keys while finding a village and some of the rewards were okay, but they weren't what we wanted. We really needed some rare candies, something so that we could level our team up. You know, these rewards at this point, like the claim blocks and everything, they weren't worth anything to us in these last 100 days. We needed to get some rare candies. I ended up trading for quite a few and I got my Salamence all the way up to 68, but still not enough. We need to keep searching in the wild. I found this large XP candy, which I used, and also found a few more Pokeballs. But again, it's not what we need now. We just need to level our team, but it's super difficult. Luckily, I ended up finding this desert temple though. And the desert temple had quite a few good things for me. It had a few XP candies and stuff. Even had a few diamonds in there for me. 
And also, it had an enchanted apple. So if I did want to go take on something like the Wither in the end, I can. I'm not going to. But I continued to complete my hunt. And there was an extreme hunt for a Claydol. And it made up for the Crustle. The first Claydol I find, bang. Straight away, completed the hunt. And this gave me 45 medium XP candies. Which is a lot worse than the 32 large. But I used all of these on Salamance. And that meant Salamance went up from level 70 all the way. Are you kidding me? Only level 77. Okay, we need to step it up now. We need to find something to get levels. But we had a contradiction. We were having to complete the Pokedex and not kill high level Pokemon. Like this Nidoqueen, we found a level 60 Nidoqueen. But we needed it for the Pokedex. We couldn't not capture this. We have to keep capturing Pokemon and remembering this. I was then able finally to claim my seven days streak reward. And for that, I got two Poke Crate Keys. Now, please, these Crate Keys need to be good. Ugh, not more claim blocks. We had no luck in them. But we ended up finding someone who would sell us rare candies. And with these rare candies, we were actually able to get Metagross all the way up to level 99, which meant he is close now to level 100, but still not there. We still needed him to level up, Tyranitar and Salamence. They all needed still quite a few levels. Luckily, though, I end up trading more and I got them to level 100. But as you see, I have a Mega Bracelet, also a Metagross site. And this is because the owner actually gave me the Metagross site and the Mega Bracelet, as the Mega Bracelet is now a craftable item. But Metagross, his Mega's not even in the game. So we actually need to find a Mega Pokemon that's in the game that we can use against the owner. And I TP'd down into this random area and thought, you know what? There might be a nose passing down here. Something we've never seen before. Not a Diancy. Um, Diancy can Mega Evolve in this as well. Okay, our luck is turning around. Oh my God, it's almost killed me. Okay. Our luck is turning around. We have just found a Diancie, another legendary Pokemon, and we got it in the first Quick Ball. We now need to find the Mega Stone for it. And luckily, there was a player called Maki. And Maki wanted to see me beat the owner. And he had just seen that I had caught Diancie. And he had that Diancie out there for me. So he ended up giving me the Diancie out, and we ended up mega evolving art diancy we end up putting the mega bracelet on throwing diancy out and boom we had mega diancy for the final battle this is our chance the owner is not going to know what hit him we had one more vent for these hundred days but before that i actually end up getting into a battle against one of the strongest players on the server and he had a Maridon, but luckily I actually ended up beating him. And with the rare candies I got, I was actually able to get Diancy up to level 100 as well. So there's no issues there. But I just beat one of the strongest players on the server. So hopefully the owner isn't as strong as them. And I might actually be able to beat him. And if you guys have liked these 100 days, make sure you subscribe. As we are on day 99 at this point. And we need all the support we can get. And if you want to see more content like this... Let me know. Like, look at all these cool Pokemon they're throwing in. And I'm going to now switch some live commentary. But not before I say that in this event, if you win, you get Mega Aerodactylite. Which is insane. And there's the man we have to beat. Right, I'm going to switch some live commentary. Yeah, I'm going to pick red here. Come on. Please drop the green side. Let red be right, please. Yes! Yes! Come on, let's go. Come on, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Right, come on, green, please. Please. Yes, again. Oh, my God. Right, I'm sick of green again. I'm sick of green. Okay. Oh, yes. They've dropped again. No way. Oh, my God. We might have to win this mega aerodactylite if we get an aerodactyl. No way. We should just go. Come on. We have to get this mega aerodactyl. Oh, green, please. Come on. Please, you're up. Oh, no, I got switch. Oh, my God, it's just me. No, it's just me. No. Oh, my God, please. What's going on? Is it broke? What's go I don't know what's going on. Um, please drop all the reds and I win. 
Please, come on, drop them. Please, drop them. Oh! No! Oh! No! Ah, oh, so annoying. Damn! Ah, oh, it's really annoying. Oh, come on, man. Wait, Burks just said bring him back. Bring me back? Yeah, go on, bring him back, go on. Oh my god, I'm back! Wait, why? Why? Why am I here? I don't know. Come on, green. Please drop him. Yes! Oh my gosh! It's just me and Maldivin. Oh, Maldivin. Come on, we've got this, bro. Come on, stick together on it. Come on, that's an admin over. That's fine. Yes! Come on, let's go. Did we win? Come on. Come on, bro. Let's go. Did we win it? Oh, no, there's one more round. Damn, okay. Okay, come on. Green. We're sick in it. I'm sick in this. Come on, if he switches, he switches. But come on. Oh, come on. We either win or lose together. Come on. Yes! No way. Have we just won this? Have we just won this? There's no way. Come on. They won. Yes, come on. Give it to me. Come on, please. Where is it? Where is it? Yes! We got it! Let's go! We just won the event! No way! As you guys can tell that, I was very excited for that. We then did a running of the Tauros thing and I got obliterated by that Tauros. But that was insane. We just won an entire community event. Let's go! And now all that's left is to fight the owner. It's time. I almost feel like we've lived this once. Community is here. Me versus the owner. As the sun sets, can we win? I'm doing this for the community. Can we beat the owner of the entire server, Diablo Turtle? He has to fall. We must win for everyone here. Us as a community are stronger than the owner. Me and my team, my mega Diancie at the end. Come on. Let's do this. We can't win. Suicune, you're my start. We started off Suicune versus Valley. And Suicune was actually able to get a lot of damage, but not on Silvalli. He ended up switching his Silvalli out to his Mega Steelix, and we did half his HP with Surf. I knew I had to go for Surf again, straight after it. And with Surf once again, his Steelix has fallen. We had beaten his Steelix, his Rillaboom took out Suicune, but his Mega has gone. I switched Nala out from Garganackle and I ended up Meteor Mashing it with Metagross and look at the damage. Metagross, the MVP, takes out Garganackle. Not only taking out Garganackle, he then also took out Silvalli and not only taking out Silvalli, he then Zen headbutted the Toxtricity. Three gone, all from Metagross. What a fight from Metagross. I thought for sure his relevant was going to take out Metagross, but no, it doesn't. He switches his Rillaboom into Cortana to take the Meteor Mash. I have no idea why he's done that. It's given us opportunity to switch to Moridon. Moridon, Electro Drift, takes out the Katana. He has one, I say one Pokemon left, that being Rillaboom. And ride on our first legendary. The new legendary from Scarlet and Violet takes out Rillaboom. And we have defeated the owner of the server. We are the champions. Diablo dethroned. The community has won. And that was 100 days on Cobblemon Island. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to join the server, links are in the description for it. Shout out to Diablo for letting me play on his server. And we will be back for another 100 days. 
and can Diablo beat me or can I retain the title of champion of Cobblemon Islands? What happens when you spend 100 days in Minecraft Cobblemon using only the Paldea region? Let's find out. We're playing on the Cobblemon Island server once again. As a treat, you guys, we're going to start things off with an event. Before we do get to the event, though, I just want to say that I just free Coco as a starter as I prefer it to Quaxley and Sprigatito. Are we going to stick together on this? Um, I don't know. I'm going to just, I'm just going to go wherever. I don't, I don't know how, um... Bro, 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 I know, I know the tactics. I've won this event. I know the tactics, bro. Quickly, before the video continues, I'm doing a 24-hour live stream 1 p.m. UK time on the 5th of November. And yes, the face cam here, this will be on the entire time. So you have to be there for it. And we are going to be doing Cobblemon, Pokemon pack openings, loads of different things. So make sure you tune in. And while you're here, subscribe to the channel and get me to 5k by the end of the year. Now, let's continue with the video. I need to get them to level 100 to use their mega form is what I've decided. Bro, okay, this, I'm, going come on, come on. I'm going red, stay I'm going red, I'm going red. Stay red. red, come on, we got this. Come on, Wilson. Red team, Please red team, drop red him, team. drop him. No! <laughs> oh my god. Red superior. Oh, what side are you going, Wilson? <laughs> Look at this. I've got wood on my head. What? Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what side are you picking? Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm going to follow with Diablo goes. Oh no, Diablo. Diablo, come back. Come back, Diablo. Diablo. <laughs> Diablo. He said it's time to let uh, to rig red to win, so I'm going on green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, bro, bro, it is all by chance, by the way. It's no like rigging. All right, come on, Wilson. We come lost on, last please. time, please. Round two. Please, it's come green on. Green side. No way, please. Come on. Yes. yes. Look ah, how many people went. So Let's many go. People oh went my down. god. Ah, There's ah. no one left. GG. You're red. Oh. <laughs> Come on! No! no! Get on red! Get on red! I'm going on red. Fuck you! Oh my god! I'm on red. Please no! Split, no no! no you please! Split, you split. Please! You split no. it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! Wait! 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 Kai! Kai! Hold! Hold! Go in the corner! Go in the corner! Go in the corner! You're in the corner! You're in the corner! Yeah! 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 yeah. Do it then. Do it then. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just do it. Uh, uh, bro, no one's near me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's go, Rusin. I can't let's believe you <laughs> Right, let's go, let's go. It's Hooray, a red. I'm live. Red for life, red. baby. Oh. oh. Did we both die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, why are you on my side? Oh, no. Everyone go green, that's what he said. Oh, that's why I'm on go. my side! That's why <laughs> I'm on my side! Yeah! And what? Jesus army. Yeah, come on! Oh. What's it gonna be? Yes! <laughs> See you later! <laughs> right, that event was a complete and utter failure. But we end up opening a load of poker crates and we even had a plushy crate to grab at the end of this as well. And we had so many of these because of our kit. And with this kit, we got like 20 poker crates. So we had loads to open. I ended up getting quite a lot of good stuff. But now it's time for the plushy crate. Please, this could be an Ash Ninja. This could be something amazing. A shiny Vapor and shiny Charizard. Please, come on. Oh my god, it's a Rattata. Oh no, I got a Rattata. Ah... Okay, luckily the plushies don't affect anything, and the main thing is, we have loads of rare candies, and I was able to get my Fue Coco up to level 25, so we can get a Crocolaw, and he looks insane. So, egg on his head, I absolutely love it. We also finally got our first Powdera Pokemon in the world, that being a Gimme Goal, and we need to get this thing to a Goldengo. And I'm actually surprised at the way you can evolve this thing, it's pretty cool. You'll find out what it is later on in the video. And for some reason, I had a double claim on my kit. So what that meant is I could claim my kits twice. And there's this new YouTuber plushie called Wilson. I've never even heard of this guy, really. Like, whatever. But I was able to get my captain kit again. And look at all the stuff I got. That is insane. 
And with my captain's kit now, I can go and open so many more poker crates. I've now got a backpack, satchel, and look at that, a stack of rare candies, basically. Oh my gosh, that's insane. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it does help me out so much. Now, we need to evolve our Crocodile into Skeledurge because we had those rare candies and the XP candies. So now we have our final evolution of our starter already. I then went out and found this Scovillain and I had to capture this thing as it is a new Pardea Pokemon and we need to fill up a team of six. Next one I ended up capturing was a Wiggler and I could straight away actually evolve this thing into a Wug Trio. That being another Pardea Pokemon to add to the decks. After we got the Wug Trio though, we went out and found a Knackley and we had to capture this thing as I really wanted to use a Garganackle. And I'm going to tell you this right now, I do capture it. And I actually do evolve it into a Garganackle. But I don't end up using this thing for very long, as our team gets kind of insane later on, as you'll find out. After this, though, we end up capturing a Fido and evolving it into a Dash Bun. And after this, we head off to the end. Okay, guys, so right now, I'm actually exploring the end. And you might be thinking, why am I in the end? There's only really Abras, there's Unknowns here, there's a lot of different things. But actually, in the end, this is where I'll find Paradox Pokemon, which is some of the strongest Pokemon actually in the new Paldea region. So I'm going to be looking around for quite a while, seeing if I can find any of these Paradox Pokemon to use. One that I really want to use is Iron Valiant, as that model looks insane, and it's also one of the strongest Paradox Pokemon, along with Roaring Moon. Okay, I need to keep exploring the end right now, because I don't really know where these spawn or how they spawn. Oh, wait! No way! Oh my god! What are the actual chances of that? I have- Oh god. Okay, I need to get about this. Okay, there's an Enderman after me as well. Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, Enderman, calm down. Okay, there's no chance I just said about I really want to use the Iron Valiant. And now I've actually got one here. That's insane. Look at this model. Okay, we need to capture this thing. Okay. Let's use a quick ball here to start off with. Please capture in the quick ball. I don't really have that high level Pokemon. This thing's level 50 though. <laughs> okay, okay. They got their damage by Skeledurge. Um, this thing's a fairy psychic, right? Okay. Let's try Torch Song. Blade of Fine. Oh, okay, Torch Song quite a lot. Um, I do have a mask if I need to use it. I don't want to use it right now though. Let's use an Ultra Ball see if we can capture it. Maybe I should yawn it actually with Skeledurge because I do have that and put it to sleep. Okay, it's broke out. Okay. Ooh. Um, I don't think Skeletor's going to have another hit. Let's try another Ultra Ball here, please. Come on, Iron Valiant. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. No. Okay, right. Let's take it out Skeletor Dodge. No. Okay. Oh, no. I missed. Oh, no. Did I pick it up? Okay, I got it. Okay. Oh, Iron Valiant. Okay, we just used the master. That was close. Oh, I can't believe I just missed. I'm doing the ground. Okay, we had to use a mass fill, but we have got Iron Valley, which is insane. And that is such a good member for our team. Let's go back to spawn and let's actually grab this thing out. Right, let's have a look at Iron Valiant. Oh, look at it. Oh, so cool. And Iron Valiant, let's go. Also, if you guys remember it, we went to Blisstown before, and this is still Blisstown, but they've actually changed the location and upgraded Blisstown massively. So we can actually have a look around here to see what sort of Pokemon spawn up on the new Blisstown. Pretty sure they have some healers here for us. Yes, let's heal our team. Okay, so what I'm going to do now as well, guys, is I'm actually going to throw out Iron Valiant, and I got 17 large EXP candies here, and I'm actually going to use all of them here. These are actually extra large, it's not even large. So let's use all of these to what level he gets to. Oh my god. Okay, we've used 70, so we 66. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Level 81. That's crazy. Okay, what moves can we teach him now? Oh, to be fair, he's got a pretty good moveset, anyways. Uh, doesn't do special. We'd rather a physical move if we've got it. Ooh. Oh, I think I'm actually going to leave the moves he's got right now because they're pretty good anyways. Iron Valley and pretty OP anyways at level 81. What I'm going to do now as well is up here, there's a lot of random spawns that go on. 
So I'm going to chill at the top here and see what spawns we can find. We got random ziggs again. We got spinner axe. We got loads of different things actually spawn around here. So let's have a look. There's actually some new legendary Pokemon in the game as well. So legendaries, normal Pokemon, they're all being added all the time. But these legends are actually from Paldea. They're the new ones like Wu-Chan and everything else. So we need to make sure we can actually capture them and use these in them 100 days. Because we've used Moridon already. But I want to use some of the new legends to shock people and potentially even take on Diablo once again. So if we actually have a look as well, we can see that Wu Chen, Ting Li, and Chi Yu is actually the new legends that have just been added. And we can actually use them, but we need to find them, of course. There's a few big ones that I do want to use, but as you can see, all the ones with models, we are going to try and capture them. So there's the Dunsparce. We actually need to catch a Dunsparce for that. There's the Toddle. Annihilate, so man could be a good capture. Tinkerton, loads of different Pokemon that we need to find. Okay, actually, who is this Wilson guy? He keeps getting these plushies. I don't know what they even are. Right, anyways, I'm out exploring again, and I need to go and find some more Poker It keys. As we found a Pokemon Center, and we did get this Poker It here. But we still need more, and we need a lot of extra items so we can get this level 100 team and the best team to take on Diablo. I then close the man key to get annihilate, and now we're doing it again. While flying to do the air, you guys need to subscribe, but also, you need to tell me what your favorite Paldea Pokemon is, whether it's one of the stars or the legendaries. You've got to tell me. You've got five, four, three, two, one. You know what? I'll give you a little extra time. Come on. Down we go. Right, three, two, one. One. Right, I better see in the comments there whatever your favorite Power Day Pokemon was. Right, we now need to go open up this Poker Crate key. And from it, we are just hoping for money or maybe some training bundles. But of course, we get the Diaphils as always. I then have my Primeape and I need to use Rage Fist 20 times to be able to evolve him into an Annihilate. Now, I said this is a little bit different to Evolve Goldengo, but you do it by giving him a gold block. And now he can actually evolve from Gimme Gold to Goldengo. And I love this way of evolution. It's something different. And look at this. I've now got my Gold Surfer. I love it's Diablo. And he had a present for me. And we've been on out Wilson with his plushies. But now you have the Real Hawk plushie. Yes. I don't just have one either. I have two coming. And this you can get from the Slash kits as well. And look at this little guy. He's about the Wilson sitting down, and he is going to be with us the entire time. Look how sick he is. I cannot believe it. Come on, Islands. You have outdone yourself. To give me my own plushie is insane. Like I said, I don't just have one. There is a second with a bag on and Charmeleon. I absolutely love these. Come on, Islands. Thank you so much for this. And you guys need to make sure you get your hands on this place. Checking out Slash Kit. And also the plushie crates to be able to obtain them. Just look at him. He is not leaving our side now. He is staying there with us the entire time. I can't believe I've actually got this. I then got my first Pokemon to level 100 as well. That being I am Valiant. As we had so many rare candies, we had to get into level 100. Okay, guys. So sorry if I sound a little bit ill right now and under the weather. That's because I've been ill for about the past two or three days and still not feeling great. But we need to keep going on our common one adventure here. Basically, I just want to go around and collect as much Poker Crit Keys as possible. And I need to find loads and loads of villagers to do that. As we would have got a level 100 Pokemon. But I still need to actually get my entire team to level 100. And try out some of these new gyms and rank battles that are happening. So really, I just need to be exploring for the next couple of days. But I need to also change up my team. And actually, I do have a Wonder Trade. And you know what? I'm going to Wonder Trade away my Wug Trio. Now, I really like it. But... We're not going to use this in the final team. So we're going to give it a quick one to trade. And hopefully we can get something sick here. Okay, so Mr. Mime. We're not actually going to be using a Mr. Mime, unfortunately. Because that's not from the Paldea region. Okay, guys. I haven't actually found a village. But I have just RTP'd around into a Badlands. And now a lot of the Paradox Pokemon actually do spawn in the end. There's one Pokemon that actually does spawn in the Badlands here. That being Slitherwing. And I sort of really want a Slitherwing on my team. So maybe I'll set a spawn here or like a home here so that I can come back and actually look for a Slitherwing around here. I don't know if it's going to be any specific Badlands, but if I can actually find a Slitherwing, 
that would be incredible to add to my team. There we go. While we are in Bliss Talent, I may as well use a PC, put Mr. Mime away, and let's grab out. Let's go over our dashboard. You know, what? I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave that spot open for now. But I'm going to be on Primeape and I'm going to use this Rage Fist as much as I can because I want to get this Annihilate super quick. I did manage to figure it out and it was just a case of I needed to level Primeape up to level 45 and then he becomes an Annihilate. So now we actually do have our Annihilate. I didn't expect it to be this big, but I'm so happy we finally have that Annihilate. I leveled him up to level 50 as well, so he's a bit more on par with Skeledurge and the rest of our team. Now, let's hope we can add to this team and get it even stronger. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just missed the message. Wait. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I don't... Oh, gosh, I don't know if that's us. Uh, Snowy Plains. We have Snowy Plains? I don't know. Uh, yes, we are. Yeah, yes. Okay, come on. we got to look. Oh, wait. Yo, there it is. No way. Oh, my gosh. No way. Okay, we need to get a battle with this thing quick. Uh, let's go Garganackle. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, oh my gosh, guys. No way. Ting Lu, one of the new legendary Pokemon from Powder has literally spawned us. Okay, this thing is going to be tough to capture. Um, I don't even know what type it is. Is it dark? Dark ground, is it maybe? Uh... Try a hammer arm on it. Oh, okay. Hammer arm's nice. Okay, that's some decent damage. Oh, okay, right. It's taking our first one down. We actually end up losing our Skeletons a little bit earlier because there was a Lava Swine and it ended up taking us out. Okay, let's go here. To our ghost type, that's smart, isn't it? Uh, right, let's try a Karate Chop. Oh, okay. Good damage. Okay, one more of them, I reckon. Oh, perfect. Okay, come on. Oh, gosh, they stand there after me. Okay, come on, please, Ting Lu, standable. That weird dude definitely wants me. Oh, no. Can I say, yeah, 10, 13, yeah, 100%. Boom, there we go. No way, I just caught a legendary Ting Lu. That's insane. Let's go. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to spawn and grab out of the PC and show everyone. No way. Oh my gosh, people are saying about the IVs and stuff, but you know what? I really don't mind. Yo, let's go. He looks so cool. That crown's insane. I was wondering why his stats are so low to it. It's like a special attack and special defense, but I realized, look at this here and the HP and this is only level 50. Oh my God. Yeah, I was right. A dark ground. No way. Oh, it's so cool. Yes, our first legendary Pokemon. Come on, let's go. Okay, guys, so they've just announced they're doing a red light, green light one. Like in the last video where I won my Mega Aerodactylite, they are doing another one of them, like the one at the start of the video. And this time, the winner is going to get Chiyu. So I need to win this, as that is another Power Day and legendary Pokemon. I have to win this one. So I'll be back when we're actually in the event. Okay, guys, here we go. First side to be chosen. Come on. I'm staying on red. Please, come on. It's green. That means green strop. Let's go. Okay, we survived the first round. Okay. Okay, come on, guys. Please, red again. Come on. We're sticking to it. We're sticking. We're sticking. Oh, the green. He just made it. Come on. Green. Yes, we've won again. Come on. Okay, there's not many people left. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm going to switch this time. I'm going over to green. Who's blowing that horn? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, come on. Stick to green. Come on. Come on. Where's Red King going? Okay. Oh, he's got to be green, surely. Oh, Red, I mean. Yes, it's Red. Come on. Let's go. Please, Mini Me. Come on, Mini Me. Come on. Be good to us. Come on, say red, please. Gonna choose? It's red, yes! Oh my gosh, no way. Is it green? It's green, till I'm gone, oh my days. Yo, it's just me and Red King, let's go. Come on, good luck, Red King. Good luck. Come on. This is red. 
Come on. It's right. Yes. Yes, we got it. We won. Yes. I can't even type right now. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I gotta go and grab this boy out. Okay, where is he? Come on. There is level 100. Oh my, I did not expect to be level 100. What? That's already another level 100 Pokemon. Oh, look at him. He's so cool. Yo, let's go. Chiu. Come on, let's go, guys. We weren't done there, though. There were still two more red and green events to go. And in the first one, I ended up dying. But on the second one, I made it all the way to the final four. And we got a shiny Pokemon. But a random shiny. And I could not believe it. But I got a shiny Wooper. I had to hope this was Paldean. If this wasn't Paldean, I'd be so upset. I would have been teased so hard for a Paldean Wooper. I then went back out exploring for more Poker Crate keys. I didn't end up finding them. And as you can see there, it was in fact a Paldean Wooper that I got. And I was so happy to get a shiny Claude's eye. That is insane. We end up getting an overall of four Poker Crate keys here, which was insane. And I end up evolving my shiny Wooper into a shiny Claude's eye. And look at this guy. He is so chunky. And now there's a the new spawn. I end up recording this while the server is going through a bit of a rough patch, but they made a new spawn for the Halloween event. And what do you know as well? This looks insane. Look at it. And the best thing about the spawn isn't any of the builds. No, it's the fact my plushie is right there in the spawn. That is incredible. We've got the little YouTuber corner. They also have this Halloween crate, which is going to have loads of items in it at the end of the video. And I can't wait to open some of those Halloween crates. They've also added three realms that you can go on to so that this monitors the server better and it means more players can come on so you guys can join. As I know there was a problem with some people joining, there's now loads of space and as many people as you can join. You go to the moon server as well and you spawn on this little boat as it's not the main server that we started on. The sun server has been taken over from the old one so that's where all your stuff will be. But I end up losing my home here. I end up though claiming some of my kits once again and I end up opening some of the poker crit keys and we just hoped for training bundles like this and also a bunch of money as we need to get that level 100 team so we could potentially do some of the new ranked battles as realistically you want a level 100 team to go into the ranked battles. I also forgot to say I forgot to record it but when I was on that ice mine I actually caught a bridge of backs which means now we can not only have a new Paldea Pokemon, but it's the pseudo legendary, which means we can have a Backscalibur. We end up evolving our Bridgebacks into an Archbax, even though it's a little bit glitched here. We did end up getting it into an Archbax. And then, of course, we know what Archbax evolves into. That's right, a Backscalibur. And look how huge this guy is. Oh my days. Look at that. I'm so happy to have this guy on my team. Avis, I started a hunt for a Slowbro and we went out to find it. And as we know, by the beaches, Slowbros are really common. And after capturing this Slowbro into the heel ball, we managed to complete the hunt. And the hunt gave us 45 medium candies, which meant we could level up a Pokemon quite a lot with these candies. And I used all of them on Claude so that he went from around level 25, 52. That's insane. We now have our Claude's Art, a shiny Pokemon, up to level 52. After this, there was a new marketplace where you could buy large XP candies, extra large XP candies, and rare candies, all set up by the player base. And I decided diamond armor is nice to have. But I ended up buying some netherite. And you know what? Let's fully send it. Let's go with full netherite armor here now. Oh, yes. I have never had a game where I've actually had full netherite armor. I've played some of it a little bit, but this looks so cool to have full netherite armor. And you know what they say, if you've got full netherite, you may as well enchant it to make yourself have full enchanted netherite armor. And now it's time as well. Let's rename our plushie. Is this thing's name Elevan 
plushie, something stupid. And let's name this guy. Should we name him Real Hawk? No, he's not Real Hawk. I'm Real Hawk. I've got the perfect name for this guy, actually. He's not a Real Hawk plushie. This guy is Mini Hawk. He is a little me and he's a Mini Hawk. He's honestly about the same size as Wilson is in real life. I then thought, you know what? Let's make just a massive pit. Let's make a massive pit down to bedrock. And you know what? If I'm making one of these massive pits down to bedrock, I may as well make a second one as well. Why not, you know? It's just a bit of fun to make two massive pits around our base. Don't ask me why. I was a bit bored. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe what's just happened. Okay, let me give you the rundown. I've just done a massive recording of day 31 to day 40. And I end up getting so much stuff, but at the end of the recording, my PC decides to crash. So I have lost all of the footage. I'm so sorry. I'm going to give you a rundown, basically, of what happened on those days. Basically, I explained that I was going to complete the decks for the rest of the series as well. The rest of the days left. I was going to complete the Pokedex for the rest of the days. So that's about 70 days I had to complete the Pokedex, okay? For the Paldea region. Paldea region only. But that does include Paradox Pokemon. So, I began that, and I end up spending a bit of time in the Mesa because I end up hunting down for about an hour and a half a Slitherwing. Now I got a few Pokemon here and there to capture the Pokedex and everything, but I end up getting a Slitherwing and I'm so mad that I haven't got it recorded anymore. I spent ages looking for this thing, but I do now have it and I apologize if you guys haven't been able to see it because my PC decided to crash. Okay, I also end up doing slash kits and I claimed my master's kit, or captain kit, sorry. Okay, and as you can see, I got loads of stuff. So I've got all of these medical items. I've got 25 rare candies and loads of stuff. And I'm so sorry that you guys haven't been able to see it because my PC decided to crash. Okay. Now, why is this guy got so... What? What? Why? They're all level 100. <laughs> Why has he got so many? Okay. Anyways, right. We're going to go back to the normal realm. And we're going to use all these medical items. I'm going to quickly get them up on the screen. So, I was literally doing this. And then my PC decides to crash. Okay. We've now used all our EV items and everything. And we have 25 rare candies. So, I'm going to shove all of these onto Backscalibur. But he is now a level 100. So now we have three level 100 Pokemon. Amazing. Right. I think that is all caught up now of what happened. Okay, guys. So right now I'm at the marketplace. And I'm just trying to think. I want to get my entire team to level 100. So that I can then attempt to do some ranked battles. And no one really wants to spend all their time battling going on like that. So, if I can buy... Oh, okay. These are extra large. Yes, yes, okay. Oh, they're out of stock. No. Okay, rare candies. Let's see how many we can buy. Okay, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to deplete the stock completely. Oh, no. Ah! Thank you. <laughs> okay. I just want to buy as many as I can of this. Can I... Oh, yeah, so, okay, we have bought quite a lot there to be fair. So Yeah, let's see. Let's keep going around. How much how much money do we have left? 29,000. Okay, not a lot. Not a lot. Let's Let's keep going around to see if there's anything else any more shops that we could potentially buy from So while in the marketplace and end up buying loads of the XP candies and stuff I use these to get one Pokemon to level 100 and I needed to get my Skeledurge updates. I was 69 right now, but I wanted to get him to level 100. So I end up spending all of my money, finding as much as I can to spend. And look at this. I had 42 large XP candies. And I end up spending all of them on Claudza, Skeledurge, and using the rare candies to get them up there. 
Lord Dyer is now really close, but I didn't want to just spend 9 rare candies to get him to level 85. I wanted to wait till he was the highest level so the rare candies would have the most effect on them. I had to go back out searching though for more poker crit keys and that's how I'd get more money and be able to buy stuff at the marketplace. Okay, nothing too great for us. I'm not going to be able to take him Twisted Spoon. What are you doing? You're Beyblade! Oh my god! What is this? Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip! Let's fight an epic battle! Why was it a Beyblade? What happened? <laughs> right, I finally used these and I ended up getting a Shulk Shell and also 10,000 Poker Coins. Insane! Use this to get my claws out all the way up now to level 82, I believe it was. 79, sorry. And I used the rest on Ting Lu to get him to level 60, and I would hold on to these rare candies. I had to keep searching out for those poker crit keys all the time, though. Okay, guys, last chest. And yes! We did get another one. Oh, yes. Okay, my luck has been ridiculous with that. Though. No way. Okay, right. Let's go open these two and then we'll go back out exploring. Hopefully, I get some more money. Let's open this one up. Yeah, like some money. Come on. Come on, please give me some money. Please give me some money. Money, money, money. Is that money? Oh, it's 50. Okay, let's put 50 Poke Builder coins. Nice. Yo, we actually need to use this Poke Builder coins. Oh, no way! I got a plushy crate key. <gasps> Yo! Okay, right. Wait, in this plushy crate, who can we get? What do we want in here? Um, we definitely don't want this. This is this is rubbish. We don't want that. Um, I don't know. Maybe one of the shinies. A shiny Charizard would be pretty cool. Always shiny Charizard, amazing. Right, come on, please, suddenly good. Come on, please. Oh my god, no way! Yo! We got a dark grey plushie! Yo, okay. I need to get Wilson in a call at some point for this to tell him. I've just got a dark grey plushie. He is gonna be so mad. No way. I'm gonna see if we can jump in a call quickly to talk about this. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, so while I'm waiting for Wilson to respond about this dark grey plushie, you may have seen that I'm actually going to do a 24-hour live stream, and I've said it earlier in the video as well. Now, on this live stream, I've written down a few things that I actually want to do. And, well, there's a lot of things, but I want your guys' suggestions as well. So if there's anything that you guys want to see me do, either on Cobblemon or anything Pokemon-related at all, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to do it, okay? You just got to tell me, and I'll be seeing if it's a good idea or if I can do that. I'll be putting out a little schedule basically to say like what's going on and everything and the timings and it'll be on the live stream the whole time as well. So like for let's say 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. what I'll be doing is uh, Cobham uh, or it could be longer than that and just different things like that. So you guys know when to join the live stream to see what you want. Okay. And yeah, just make sure to leave a comment and let me know. Wait, I didn't even notice that. Hold on. Have I been blind this whole time next to my base that there's been a pirate ship? Okay, there's no actual captain's chest. Still, there's a pirate ship here. I just didn't even notice it. <laughs> okay, that didn't even cover as a pirate's uh, like, a treasure map here, but there's not. You know what, though? While we are here, I am going to go hunting for a Pokemon. Now, the Pokemon I want to go hunt for is i might be saying this wrong but is it fizzin finizen i think it's called that was like basically it's the pokemon that has the hit whoa gyarados is that shiny wait is this shiny it hasn't been in the chat i'm gonna say that's not shiny because there's not sparkles coming off it like a normal shiny does I'm going to say that's not, it looks very shiny, but I'm going to say it's not a shiny. Okay. Right. Anyways, yeah, we need to go out looking for this thing. And it's going to be quite hard to spot. I should have really grabbed a boat or something. But this is fine, okay? We'll be right looking for it. 
just got to look around in the ocean and hopefully it should spawn as the open, as the open, as the ocean does seem quite bare right now. Oh, but there's a whale on. Okay. Right, if a whale or can spawn, then a little dolphin can spawn, okay? Hopefully, this thing doesn't attack me. Oh, oh it's attacking me! Oh my god! Why? No! Leave me alone! I'm sorry, whale lord! Why? Oh my god, go away, go away, go away, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Where was attack? He's still chasing me! Oh my god, leave me alone! He's still coming for me. Go away. Oh. Right. This was not the right Pokemon to go out to, but whatever. Oh! Wait, did I swim past it? Yes! Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, yes. Right. Right, guys. Okay, uh, Finizen, spawn. Yes, okay. I don't know if I swam right, right past that then. Because it seemed to be underneath me. Um, okay. Good thing it actually went where it did. Because I would not have seen that otherwise. Yes, we caught it. Let's go. Yes. Oh, gosh. My phone's running. Okay. Yes. Okay, right. Let's do slash home. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm so happy we actually caught that. Right, we spent a little bit of time out there. Luckily, though, it didn't take too long. Okay, you guys know the drill. Once we get money, buy XP candies, use them on our team to level them up, and keep doing this until they're level 100. This is our plan right now. Gold Claws are up to level 85 now, but the other thing is, we actually have our kits to claim. So I can not only claim this Wilson kit and get a Poker Crit key and a few rare candies, but also claim the Captain kit, which means I will get 20 more rare candies. So I had to just go spend this poker key real quick and then I will claim the captain's kit. And hopefully we'll be able to have a battle with Wilson and show him our awesome team. I end up using the rest of these on Ting Lu and then I spent the red candy to level Claude Zara up all the way to level 100. As I still didn't know what team I actually wanted. The rest using Ting Lu and he went to level 84 and now we're super close at level 100 team. Oh, whoa, wait, 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 shiny room in the Temperton. Wait, are we not in? We're in Temperton Highlands. I don't know. I don't know if that's not us though. Uh, well, let's go, let's go check where all these are. Um, oh! oh! No way! Wait, 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 wait. don't kill yourself, bro. Don't, 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 don't. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, come on. Yes, let's go. No way. Oh my gosh. We actually got a shiny room. What even is that? Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get our PC. Yo. That's a new Pokemon for us as well. Yo, shiny room. Wait, can he evolve straight away? No, he can't. Okay. Okay, oh my gosh, bro, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna save him. I'm gonna save him later on. I was just around exploring, trying to find as many Pardia Pokemon as I could, and that's just happened. That is mental. What? Okay, guys, I'm gonna try this once again for this rank battle. It hasn't got any better, but I'm still gonna try for the rank battles, and hopefully I'll get into it. So I'll be back once I am in a rank battle. Okay, guys, we are in here. Okay, who are we against? Spyglass up. Okay. Shinsei. Nice. Okay, so he's got a Latios and we have Skeleburns. This is quite a good matchup for us, actually. Um, Let's go for the Shadow Ball. Hope. Ooh, that's good damage. Okay, so we had leftovers. What did he do? Aylwind. Okay, so his entire team is fast and out. Interesting. Go for another Shadow Ball. Oh, that's good damage, but we do take out the Latios. Perfect. Love that from Skeletor. Come on then. Right, next Pokemon out. His entire team is faster. Garchomp. Okay, right. Is he going to go for an Earthquake here? We don't actually have any Pokemon flying, so this isn't good for us. 
Okay, guys, basically, there was a little bit of a glitch, and I only had one Pokemon left, that being Ting Lu, not a level 100, and he had three or four Pokemon left, so I just ended up leaving, and yeah, it was a glitch, basically, Shinsei couldn't actually pick his Pokemon, so, so I had to leave, and we lost our first ranked battle. Ooh, okay, so actually for our rank battle as well, guys, we actually got five Poker Rose. Is that because that was our first rank battle, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. Let's um let's go open these anyways, because we got five. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we get some more money and we'll actually be able to get Tinley up all the way. Okay, some quick balls, not the best. Um give me something we want. Oh, okay, some more Pokeball coins. You know what? We actually need to use them. We're gonna use them now. Uh, some more quick balls. Come on. Some more Pokemon coins. What? And some more quick balls. Hey, here he is, Wilson. How's it going, hello, buddy? Hello, hello. I was told I had to meet you here because you had something to show me. Yes. Do you like our plushies, by the way? I love them. Uh, yeah. I mean, I I'm, I see mine in spawn at the moment. I got my little guy here. He's on my head as well, yeah. which is cool. And then I also have one over here as well with my boy Breloom and Pumpkaboo as well. Yeah, that's also in the plushie crate. Um, speaking of plushie crates, I opened a plushie crate earlier. Okay. Um, hey, what's, what's your favorite legend? You want? Um, my favorite legendary is probably Dialga, but my favorite mythical is right, mythical legend. You, you get my Darkrai? idea. You know what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, well, D Darkrai then. Yeah, sure. Sure. Oh, give me that. Uh, <laughs> what? Did you... Was that a... Yo! <laughs> what? That looks insane. Bro, I get... Bro, Wait, I was that like, oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe like a shiny Charizard would be sick or something. But, you know, I'm not hoping for too much. And then this pops out. I'm like, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. I will trade you an apple core for that, please. Look, I've got two. I've been munching at them all day. But maybe I can, you know, give you some does, of my half-eaten apple. Does that become apple. leftovers? Uh, no, no, no. It's just a half-eaten apple. Um, what? Yeah. So do you want to, like, run me that dark ride and I'll, I'll throw Bro, you a half-eaten apple? They are Why are you a Beyblade? I'm pretty sitting about to be a Beyblade. What? Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Let's fight. What? Why are you a Beyblade? How are you doing I'm that? munching my leftovers, man. What, what, what did you say? Munch your leftovers? You said I leftovers, yeah? I mean, no, no, no. I meant my apples. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get him, no, no, no. Um... Ooh, do one want leftovers? That could be pretty good. I want to do some rank battles and everything. So maybe leftovers are pretty good for me. Where are you going? You can't hide. You have a name tag. Wilson, I'm right behind you. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, well done. <laughs> right, Wilson, Wilson, shh. But listen, all right, listen, listen. I've right, got do you leftovers. want this dog, right? Do you want it? Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say no. You know, just you have to drop it first, though. That is the that is the, the only condition. Like you have to drop first, and then I'll drop mine. Okay. I didn't trust you. You just ran off. No, no, no. I won't. I promise. I just right. You can have an apple core, but you have to drop me a you dark rose plushie first. <laughs> apple core. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> right. How about this? We both do it on the count of three. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready. One, two, three. 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 <laughs> oh, wait, you your plushie is Why is it here? Because I've got the best plushie. Like, come on now. Bro, you wait till you see my one. My one looks insane, my one with my Pokemon. It's so much Wrong. better. You know what? We need to do a challenge. For this video, you guys need to tell us in the comments whose plushie is better, mine or Wilson's. I'll put them on the screen right now. Which plushie is better? Mine. If it's Mine's not mine, win. then you will Mine's suck. Win. Also, subscribe to Wilson on YouTube. Um, YT Wilson. Yep. Get, get, get subscribing. Thank you very much. Um, okay, anyways, fine. Um, right, right, you're right. You've listen, done your promo. Listen. Now give me that. Give me listen. Give me I give have me multiple different apples that I could give to you, right? So oh, we're going to do the evolution of apples, okay? Right. Left so we've got, we got, we got my half-eaten apple. We've got left a left normal left. apple. Okay. We've got a sweet apple. We've got a tart apple. Got a we've got a golden apple. And we've got a god apple. Now, run me the dark crow plushie, and I might be able to give you an apple. Okay. Wow. 
Wow. Do you, do you, do you want to see? Do you want to see my evolution? What? Yeah, but mine's shiny. Okay. Well, I have Mega Rayquaza. Like what? What? Why do you have that? That's right, Mega Rayquaza. Watch my most recent Cobblemon video if you want to see the Mega Rayquaza in video. Hog. Uh, you know what? You know what? But I have, I have a hero. Aw, he's actually really cute. Anyways, uh, give me the Dark Rome no, right now. Oh, oh, what? Oh. Okay. Well, you know what? You know what? Fine, let's go. Let's go. Oh, wait, my team's not level. Oh, no, I've got my little fuck. I've got, oh, no, I've got my dolphin. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't, no, I don't have my Iron Valiant. Good. No! You can't run. This isn't fair. Run, click a move. Click a move. If I win, I get the Dark Grey plushie. If you win, no, you get my apples. No, this isn't fair. No. You can have both my leftovers. Leftovers, I mean, my apples, my happy and apples. <laughs> you can have my left, my, my, use a move. <laughs> can, can we re battle and I get the, uh, no, I get my own value? No, no, no. My that's team's even healed up. Uh, that's unlucky. Game's game. Oh, destroyed. Ooh, 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 ooh. So easy, so easy. You're such Come a bully. On. Ash Greninja. You're such a bully. Uh, listen, this is just how the, the cookie crumbles, you know? Oh, a Ting Lu. Um, what type is a Ting Lu? No, you can't um, search up. This is cheating. Oh, no, I don't know what type Ting Lu is. Uh, War Shuriken. No. No, I, don't, I didn't get you. No. Oh, man, it's fine. Fast Destroyed. Ruhork, mm -mm 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 -mm. your team absolutely stinks, man. I can't lie. <laughs> I'm not having this. Am I about to sweep you with just my Ash Greninja? Like... What the should I can do? Yeah, keep talking. <gasps> no! Yeah, die. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Now we need to be careful. Okay. Um... Yeah. What? Oh, no. Why are they all yeah. mega? That's are right. They, are they going to have right. one mega? Well, I'm special, innit? That's, that's just how it works. Yeah, you are special. special. You are special. I am Cobblemon Island's ultimate mega Pokemon trainer. So, therefore, I can have what I want. That's just how it works. Look, Primal Kyogre, baby. Come on. Let's go. You're just a bully. Listen, I mean, you wanted the, the half-eaten apple cores. Like, what can I say? Hey, yo, what? You missed. Oh, wait, I'm okay. immune. Hey. Why am I You're immune? immune? <laughs> I... Hmm. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, everyone's looking at my Primal Kyogre Pog. Let's go, yeah, baby. Is... No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, I'm 1 what? HP. 1 HP in a dream. <laughs> I can dead now. That's right. Get <laughs> destroyed by my primal Kyogre. <laughs> Diablo couldn't beat Primal Kyogre. Uh, you can't beat Primal Kyogre. It's it, over for you. Wilson, listen here. If I had my own Valiant, I'd beat you. No. My own Valiant sucks. Like my team's just better. You just honestly, you just need to learn the ways of being up um. <laughs> Why did it slip and fall? Ah. Wait, what did you use, man? What? He slipped and fell. Ah. Luckily, I have my boy, my starter Pokemon, my OG, Blaziken. You. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Luckily, man. I've got my boy, Mega Ray. Come on, let's go. Okay, and yeah, I love Mega Ray. Destroyed. Why did you have Crunch? That's on what him? we're talking about. Why, Why wouldn't do you I have, have Crunch on him? Why? Why not? Well, because I, That's you know, cheating. I just wanted Crunch. You're cheating. Am I? Yeah. Watch this. Excalibur dead. <gasps> you live? Yes! No! Oh, of course no. I live. I'm literally Mega Rayquaza. Like, comment down below on this video if you think that. 
Real Hawk stinks because he does. What? What? <laughs> what? Why? Why is that a thing? She, you? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm dead, though. Oh, my boy. Blazerkin. Out you come, son. Bro, if I had Iron Baron, I would have won that so easily. Is oh, that your last Pokemon? you already lost. Wait, Is that your last Pokemon? No. No, of course not. I had Mega Gengar. So I would have killed that. I had Mega Lucario. I would have killed that. I had Mega Blaziken. I would have killed all that. Like, you know, you, you just... Listen, I'm just hearing excuses. No leftovers for you. Hand over the Dark Ray plushie, He's got my guy. He's behind you. Didn't ask. Anyway, hand over the Dark <laughs> Ray plushie, my guy. Look. Didn't ask. Where is it? Hey, you come back! No! <laughs> uh, uh, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. No, leave me alone, leave me alone. Uh, that real hawk guy, honestly. Okay, so right now as well, guys, actually, there is increased shiny rates. We literally just caught up a room, but now we've got increased shiny rates, which is insane. So I'm going to just sort of hang around this area because I'm pretty sure not only capture kids spawn around this area, but we've got a few other Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that uh, Tinkerton spawn here and loads of different Pokemon that we can actually capture. So hopefully if we hang around here enough, we might actually get a shiny Pokemon spawn. Oh, okay, guys. Oh, oh, shiny Tinkerton. Do you see that? Oh, okay. Brushland. Uh, are we in Brushland? Yes, we are. Oh no, where is it? I'm gonna go check. Where are all these yellow dots? That means there's Pokemon there, so I need to check. No. No, no. Let's all not you. Come on, guys. We need to find it. Oh, yes, there it is. Yes. It actually was on us. Yes. Oh no, I've hit him. Oh no. Come here. No. No. Come back. Okay. We got him. Oh. Oh, okay. Jesus. Yes, we got him. Let's go. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Right, we still need to go around. And I think there's quite a few Pokemon we still need to capture. So, yeah, we're going to keep looking around. Because I don't think there's any Pokemon really here we need to capture actually now. But that's another shiny Pokemon we've got. Are we going to have to get a full shiny team actually? That'd be pretty cool if we could use a full shiny team. I might have to try that, you know. Right, let's get an RTP out of here. And let's go searching for the next area. I decided as well, it'd be a good time to start fishing. As in hopes of getting potentially a walking wake. But also, there's a few more Pardee Pokemon that we need to capture. That can only be caught by fishing. So, let's hope we can actually get it. And we went to the swamp hoping for a walking wake this time, but unfortunately we couldn't find it. But we did find a little friend. Okay guys, while searching around, we were actually able to find this little guy here. Look how small he is! But yeah, we've actually been able to find him, which is amazing, as that is another part of Pokemon. We need to actually get with these guys and evolve them, because it's good capturing them, but we need to actually evolve them. And there's so many more Paradox Pokemon that we actually need to go out and find, so I'm going to have to spend a lot of time in the end. We haven't got anything too exciting from fishing either right now, but I'm still going for it. Still trying to find that walking wake, but this is going to take a while. I think I got very lucky in my first 100 days where I got a Suicune. And if you guys do want to see how I got that Suicune, make sure you go check out my other video on the channel and hit the subscribe button while you're there. We end up pulling up a Tatsugiri after this, and I don't know what it did and what it used, but the Tatsugiri just died. It escaped and they just died. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. The Tatsugiri went under and it died. We luckily did find a second one quickly after, though, with fishing. And we were actually able to capture this one because I didn't go into battle with it because I did not want to have to look for another one. Okay, and we are in the end. Shout out to uh, Shina Sensei for getting me here because I'm struggling to actually get here. But he's giving me a TP here. So now... We can go off and explore the end looking for Paradox Pokemon. So, there's going to be a lot of unknowns as we saw before. Uh, but now, hopefully, we can go find some Paradox Pokemon. Hey, guys, I'm just exploring, but you might see a lot of things behind me. What is this? Why are they all coming? Leave me alone. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, no, someone's already been up there. This looks cool, though. 
Who needs an elytra? Oh, okay, never mind. Apparently, gliders don't work here. Help. Oh. That was close. Oh my gosh. Oh my days. Oh no, I got no one to do this. Even... Okay, I'm not doing that. Okay, I need to see some ender pearls. So guys, oh! Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Oh yes! Okay, I've been searching for about 20 minutes around the end. I was just about to come back and tell you guys I was just about 20 minutes looking for stuff. And as soon as I was to do that, boom. Yes! Okay, this is perfect. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we finally found a paradox. Yes! Boom! There we go! Yes, I am off. Let's go. So we've got both the Volcaronas uh, Paradox Forms. Ugh. We've got both the Volcarona Paradox Forms now. That's great. Okay. Right, there's a lot still to get though. So I'm going to stick in here. Probably... Probably until... Oh no. Oh no. I kept the wrong button on my keyboard. Oh no. Oh, save me. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. oh okay. I'm doing bow on my keyboard. Right, I'm gonna stand here until we find at least one more. Because there's still Iron Hands, Flutter Main, and Scream Tail to find. Until we find at least one more. Oh, I can't lie. I thought that bronze or I thought that was a shiny unknown then. I was about to say. Jesus. Okay. That's another time I've lived on 1 HP. Oh my gosh. One HP, one heart even. Oh my days. I am so lucky right now. Guys, I've called it quits on the search right now. Because it's just taking so long to get with this Paradox Pokemon. And I just can't spend that long doing it. I'm spending so many days doing it and it's just not worth it. I might come back to it a bit later, but right now, it's so difficult to find the Paradox Pokemon. I might need to wait till there's an increase in their rates. But, yeah. I, I will come back to it and I'm going to see if I can get another Paradox Pokemon 100%. But right now, we need to focus on other things like getting our level 100s. And also, we've got some shiny Pokemon like the um, like the Tinkerson. I'd like to get this to level 100 and I'd like to use other Pokemon. So, we need to focus on some other things right now. I decided to try a little bit of a different approach now as... I was looking for loads of different Pokemon, but realistically, I needed some really good items as I would need leftovers, held items, just different things to help my team out. And I thought the best way to do this was to go underground and look for an ancient city. Now there were going to be wardens down here and everything wanting to kill us. But I heard that these ancient cities have some of the best items and loot. So we need to go looking for this right now. I spent ages looking for this though i kid you not over an hour looking and i just could not find anything the best thing i found was this little amethyst room but nothing amazing so i went back on my word and i actually ended up going straight back to the end looking for more paradox pokemon as i had to find them to improve my team and you will not believe what happened oh my oh wait Nothing pops up in the chat. <laughs> Let me get a bow with it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's quite late for me. Um. Nothing popped up in the chat about a shiny flutter main. <coughs> okay. Nothing popped up, and I I must have walked past. I either walked past it. Or it just spawned, like, right next to it. Okay. What? Oh, my God. Sorry, it's quite late for me. I'm recording this. I was... Oh, my gosh. Why are they on the... So, I was given... The... I can't access the... That's fine. So, I was given the... 
the iron bundle by one of you guys on the server. Thank you, by the way. Uh, I think it's Shinse, is it? Oh, we just got a point. Let's go. Yeah, so we got given this iron bundle, which is now apparently a substitute. It, it does have a skin, I promise you. But now we have a shiny flutter main. Oh my days. I spent so long searching for just any sort of Paradox Pokemon. And again, I spent quite a while searching for this guy. And we've just got him again. Got him again? No, oh, I'm so sorry. It's quite a bit. I have just got it while searching. Oh, my days. Okay, right. I need to go to spawn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Wait, add this to my team and try and get to level 100, or do I focus on getting Ting Lu to level 100 first? Oh, my days. Okay, right. Slash. Right, I still want to trade. Hopefully. A Riolu, to be fair. A Riolu's not bad, but unfortunately, we're obviously not looking for a Riolu. Oh, my goodness. I kid you not, I've been, I've been sat in the end for about 40 minutes looking. And when we actually finally get one, it's a shiny. That's mental. Okay. Just to keep in mind again, we did not get any shinies our first 100 days. And now we've got three in the wild that we found and one we got from an event. That's mental. Got a few powers because, oh, this has been so good. I've really got to think about the team that I want to pick because do I want to go for pure fun and just have a bunch of shinies a bunch of legendaries and stuff. You know what? I'm not going to let you guys know what my team's going to look like until we get to the day 100. That's my plan. I'm going to level up loads of different people to level 100. But then when I finally have it, you're not going to know what my final team is. Okay, I sold every item I had, loads of different things, to get 64 extra large XP candies so I could level this team up as I needed that flutter main on it. And I need it to be at level 100. And I'm still keeping this team a secret to the very end. So you're not going to know what I'm actually doing with the team. Flutterman now at level 100 though. That just leaves one more. And that is Revel Room. And I'm pretty sure this might add to my team. But who knows? It could be Chi Yu. Could be Ting Lee. You guys are going to have to wait to find out. But with Revel Room, he's not even level 100. He needs one rare candy. Ah, oh, so unlucky. But I end up buying an extra large XP candy because it's cheaper than the rare candy. And boom. Level 100 Rebel Room. Here we go. It's the we can actually run. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, there go, go. Right, don't fall. Do not fall. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm out of sync with everyone. No, I've already fallen. You're kidding. No, I've already fallen. Oh, I was so quick. No, let us up. Let me up. Oh, no. I think all of us stuck down there. Oh, oh. Um. oh my. What am I doing? I just sort of stayed around where everyone was. I should have gone straight away over there. Oh, I'm so stupid. No! We're going. They have made the arena much bigger now. Okay. Oh no, don't go out of single room. No, 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 no. Keep your own air. Oh. oh no! No! Oh, I lasted for the five seconds at least. Oh my god. That was such a big error and I still failed. What am I doing? Oh, it's like a massive game of split. This is so difficult. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, I thought I saw one standing, but I didn't. No! Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay, so you have to constantly run around and then uh, we'll close the doors. Right, I got you. Okay. And that's two colors there. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So I just announced to me that you can see. He told me that we just need to run around, basically. And okay, now it's two colors that close off. And you have to hope. We are not stuck under it. 
Okay, this the game is back on, guys. And again, I can't believe the music they're actually playing here. So, yeah, the copyright. <laughs> Ah! Oh my gosh! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Stop. Oh no! Lisa. No way! But oh, okay, okay, no, 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 okay, okay. They just meant they're like, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Orange and <gasps> I was gonna say orange and pink. Yes, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I thought because we got blocked that. Okay, I got so confused. I'm such an idiot. Okay, we're fine. Yes. Hello. Hello. Let's see you there. Hey guys. Fine. Yes. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Yeah. We are. Oh, we are. We are safe. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello there. Oh, let's go. Okay, wait, 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 where's the orange one? The orange one. I was hoping it's like an orange because I feel like that can't be it twice. Oh my gosh. I mean, this guy's the same idea. Nah, come on. Keep moving, keep moving. I was hoping it got stuck in orange because I feel like. I feel like orange can't be twice, can it? Was it orange and like. It's sick in here. We got this. Come on. Crowd into orange. <laughs> Is this a copy from the first name? Oh no, come on. Come on, orange for the win. Come on. Yes. Red and light green. Yeah. Yeah, the orange has done it. Come on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I was going to say Diablo didn't break my heart. And he didn't. Yeah. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Wait, was it? Was it? Was it red? Red and lime green. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> this guy is just following me. I love it. Come on. Red can't lose. Come on, red can't lose, surely. Come on. Please, come on. Yes! We're safe again. Yeah, okay. Come for our music. Yay! I'm sick in here. Jump in here! No, jump in here! Don't leave me! Jeff! Jump in here! No. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this guy's beautiful coming through right now. I haven't seen socks. Where's socks? Oh! Oh, jump in here! <laughs> jump in here! <laughs> oh no! No. Wait, what? Oh, we lost. Oh. Oh, but I didn't want it, Liz. <laughs> oh, no, wait, is that? Where's socks? Oh, socks are these. Yeah, socks. Damn it. I'm done with the vents right now, though, guys. And yeah, it is very late for me. It is. 1.15 in the morning, so I have got a head off for the night, but I'm going to be back and I'm going to get the rest of these 100 days done. I spent these days making the final preparations for my team, changing the natures of them with all my poker points, as well as choosing out the final six, and I really wanted to use Slitherwing on this team, so I end up adding him in, but I'm going to do this right now, Slitherwing's not going to be in this team. I end up adding all the medical items to the Pokemon so they're the best stats. And then this happened while I was out in the swamp fishing. I think you know where this is going. 
Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Um. Oh. Uh, uh, wait. Oh, I'm not even ready. Oh my god. Okay. Right. I was just fishing. I was spam clicking. And I was in a call with my mates. And. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Um. Uh. I must be the luckiest person in the world. I wasn't even paying attention to my screen and this thing has just spawned. Um. You know what? I'm not going to waste time. What am I doing? Massable. Boom. Um. Okay. I guess I got a walking ring from fishing. Um. Ha <laughs> No way. Uh, oh, hold on. Where is it? There it is! Yo! Oh no! I've just leveled everything. Oh no, no, I need. I need a walk away from my team, don't I? Because I don't even have any of the legends anymore. Oh, I need this walk away from my team, don't I? I 100% need this walk away from my team. Yo, look at it! Oh my days, that's sick! Yo! To go with this. So I've got 10 rare candies. So once I go back to my house, I'll claim these 10 rare candies. Also, I don't really have a lot of money. So we still need to find a bit more money. But awesome thing is, the Halloween items are now in. And look at some of these items. We've got the Mewtwo cupboard. We've got some cool cosmetics. But the best things are definitely items. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh. This Dusk Gold Reaper site might be my favorite. Look at that. Where do you realize there was a char- Oh my. There is so much cool stuff there, I can't lie. Right, so. Come on. Yes, we got some money. Okay, not. I was hoping for maybe 10,000, but maybe 5,000. Right. And. Oh, some more money. 5,000. Perfect. Right. We need to go to the marketplace then. Rush. Nice. Oh, he learned a new move as well. Hydration stream, was that? Yeah, look at that. Jeez. Okay, right, level 58. Good, let's go. <gasps> Yo, Diablo just given us five Halloween crates. Thanks so much, Diablo. Okay, guys, since Diablo's given us these, let's go ahead and open them. Oh, look at the animation. A Suzik and the first one. Ooh! Wait, that's one of the pickaxes. Yo, look at that. That's sick. Alright, okay, we've got four more of these to open. Come on. Something good. Come on, something good. Ooh, what's that? Is that a Pikachu car pumpkin? Where's that gone to? I don't even know where that's gone. Oh, there it is. Okay, go. Cool. Oh, I thought I was losing my mind then. Oh, yo, what is that? Oh, that's sick. Look at it. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay. Two more to open. Come on. Please. Come on, too good, too good, too good. Ooh, a little Vulpix. Yo, I love that one. That's sick. Right, last one. Come on, please. Come on, I really want that Dusk Gold Scythe. Oh, okay, so we got a pump -a yeah, yeah. pump -a boo pump -a boo Okay, we got a bunk boo chair. Not bad. I know we're some of them. But that is sick. I can't believe we actually got a pickaxe. You know, we've got to go try this out. Quickly. We've got to see what it's like. All right, well, this traveling pickaxe is very, very cool. You know what? I'm going to hold on to it. And I'm going to hold on to it until we do the stream. If you guys are still watching, I am going to give away this Trevenant pickaxe on stream. So you guys better be on the server at some point and I'm going to give this Trevenant pickaxe away. Okay, guys, with a lot of going on later and later on. Why is there a mammoth swine here? You know what? 51. Come on, then. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, boom. Let's go. Walking wake the beast. Okay, yeah. With a lot, a lot more searching for poker crates and everything. I was able to get enough money so I could buy loads more rare candies. And we now have enough 
So that walking weight can go all the way up, level 100, and now with him being level 100, I'm going to do some ranked battles before we get into any battle with Diablo. So, we've made all the preparations we can, guys. I think it's about time. With this team of six, we have to defeat Diablo once again. Can the Paldea region do it? I can only hope so. Wish me luck going into this battle, guys. My mini hawk. Keep me strong out there. Bring me the luck we need to win. Diablo. Let's do this. We battle once again. Fluttermane starts off with us. And straight away, Mega Gengar is no match for the Shadow Ball with the Fluttermane. Fluttermane does have a go down to Necrozma, but not without doing a massive chunk of damage with the Shadow Ball. That's the sort of damage we wanted. Come on. I right, bring out Iron Valiant to take out Necrozma, but then I get scared as he brings out his Charizard. I didn't know what to do, so I switched to the Stereotype as he uses a fire move. Oh, Hawk, what are you doing? Why have you done that? Oh, because I just go back to Iron Valiant anyways. He then does switch his Charizard out. And what comes out? A Screamtail. A Psychic Fairy type. I switch into Skeledurge, and Skeledurge does massive damage to the Screamtail. With Screamtail not doing anything to us. Our starter Pokemon can take out the Screamtail. The Paradox Pokemon falls. But then comes out the Pokemon to take out our starter. Iron Bundle. No, our starter cannot die. We are switching out as we go to Iron Valiant as he went for the Hydro Bump. And Iron Valiant tanks it and is able to do a bunch of damage with Leaf Blade. Getting the critical hit and the shiny Iron Bundle goes down. With that, leaves him with two Pokemon. And what do you know, the Pokemon Devil Giratina is out. We go for the Dazzling Gleam, and Iron Valiant does his Valiant effort. Does enough damage to get him to half HP before Iron Valiant falls. But we are not done. Baxcalibur comes out, goes for the Glaive Rush, and takes out the Giratina. What's left? Just Charizard. Baxcalibur with one Glaive Rush. Can he take out the Charizard? Of course he can. Baxcalibur, MVP, takes down Charizard. We defeat the owner once again with a team of Paldea Pokemon. That's the 100 days. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and we'll be back once again to beat Diablo or maybe even defeat our rival, Wilson. In this video, I'm turning 100 days using only shiny Pokemon. Now, this wouldn't be a 100 days challenge without a few goals set. And my goals are very simple. I have to obtain a full team of shiny Pokemon. I also have to get a shiny legendary Pokemon. And finally, I must become the strongest trainer on the server with my shiny team. These 100 days are spent on the Common Island server, where if you guys want to play along with me, I've left the links to the server and the Discord in the description. Now, let's begin our shiny only 100 days. Okay, guys, we are in, and I have claimed my starter kit, but most importantly, you will see in the top corner there, we have a shiny Charmander as our starter. And I am super excited for this shiny only 100 days. The other thing as well, guys, it's here. The real Hawk kit. Everyone gets a claim of it, and you get my little plushie. And you get loads of other things, which is really, really cool. You get the new berries, some hyper potions, some pretty cool stuff to go along with it. The first thing I want to do is go out exploring into the world and just train out my Charmander a little bit. A snow bomb, that's pretty good to be fair. We are a fire type, and with these potions I just got from my kit, this will help us. Oh, we're at a village. Ooh, not a bad start, you know. Let's quickly, let's throw him out. Oh, he looks so cool. Right, let's throw him out. And let's bring these red candies out. And also, if you press I, you can bring up this little tab to see what you've got and everything, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, right, let's go and pump all these into you here. Nice, level 15, one off evolving. Uh, let's teach you, let's teach you Dragon Breath. And let's also give you Metal Claw, why not? Okay, we just need one level on this little guy and we'll be able to have a Charmeleon, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. If you watch my first 200 days as well, you'll realize that my first one, I didn't even get a single shiny Pokemon. And in the second one, I started to get a few more. But we're going to have to get an entire team of shiny Pokemon in this. That's going to be ridiculously hard. Okay, let's see if we can beat the Spinarak. It is quite a high level compared to us. Ooh, we've got the burn. That's good. Ember again. Oh, the paralysis. Oh, you're kidding. No, the paralysis has stopped us. Oh, please, no. Oh, my God. Again? Okay, no. It's just loading. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we got paralyzed again. There we are, though. Level 16. Okay, hold on. Give me my state quickly. Also, give me my Tinkerton hammer. We need that. And let's quickly throw our Charmander. And we can evolve it into Charmeleon. Yeah, there we are. My guy, Charmeleon. Absolutely love this Pokemon and such an awesome shiny. So guys, so I got one to do as well. So I want to set myself a mini challenge on where I can actually find this Pokemon. So, I'm going to set a challenge that I have to find one shiny Pokemon in each of the three realms. That being the Overworld, the Nether, and also the End. Not to mention, I need to win a shiny Pokemon from an event. And the last thing I want to do is I want to get a shiny plushie. And whatever shiny plushie I get, I have to go out and find and catch one of them. Whether it's an evolution or... I then have to find the pre-evolution to capture it as a shiny. And I feel like these are going to make the days even more fun for me. And so much more entertaining for you guys to watch. I'm actually coming to some of the warps. Because I know they've set up that there's specific places that only certain Pokemon actually spawn in. So I'm just wondering if we can actually get a lot of spawns from the same Pokemon. And if that's the case... Maybe we're more likely to get a shiny version of that. Okay. Oh, so there's a platform here and this is Rookie D. So it's called Corviknight. You know what? A shiny Corviknight would be pretty cool. Maybe I'll stick up here for a bit. And that's just to be fair. Rookie Ds aren't the worst thing to level off of. And if there's a healer up here, that'd be insane. Yeah, you know, I'm going to stick up around here. And maybe we'll actually get a shiny Rookie D spawn up here. Why don't you actually learn any other moves right now? Because right now, Ember's kind of weak. We have, like, Flame Burst or something. Just, like, a little bit stronger, maybe. No. Oh, he has Dragon Rose, though. Okay. Give him Dragon Rose. That's guaranteed 40 damage every time. So, I believe Shiny Corviknight is actually, like, a silver color. I might be mistaken, but... We can definitely take these Rookie Ds out very easily. That Corvus by level 21. I think he's got more than 40 HP, but how much damage do we do? Okay, he does a lot to us. Um... No, Charmeleon! Oh, no. There's a death animation. Oh, no. We're going to have to go back to spawn to then heal him up. Okay. I'll be back once my Charmeleon is all healed up. While running back to the Pokemon Center, I actually just realized I have heal items on me. I could have just healed him there. I mean, I'm here now. So, I may as well heal him up. Uh, we're back here anyways. Right. I'm coming back, Corvus Squire. I'm 21. My Dragon Breath. Yeah, that is absolutely nothing, and he does so much damage to us. Oh, my days. Oh, am I just going to die again? Okay, no, he's let me live. Oh, how much XP is that? Oh, level 19. That's good. Oh, there's a Rolta up here as well. Rolta's going to be a pretty good shiny. Right, I'm going to step around here, and I'll be back when my Charmeleon is either close to evolving or find a shiny pokemon up here oh corviknight okay please don't tell me this like level 50 give it a reasonable level 39 you know what and it's a steel type going for we only have two. Oh, we got this in the bag we got this in the bag any death animation no but 4000 xp charmeleon level 36 let's evolve him yeah oh wait it's rideable now I didn't even realize that. Can I fly him? How do I fly? Hey, guys. Apparently, I just need to look. Oh, gosh. Wait. F5. Oh, is there, like, animation? It looks a bit derpy right now. But, yes! We can fly Charizard! Oh, this is sick. 
Looks a bit derpy right now, but I'm sure once the animations are in, this will look insane. And the fact it's just a look, that's so good. I like that. Right, uh, I'm going to stick around here then until we find that Rookie D, or I might try the Nether or the End to see what other Pokemon we can find that might be shiny. And I'll be back once we actually get that shiny Pokemon. But I'm going to continue to level Charizard while I do that as well. Oh gosh, oh my god. Oh, oh no, I was, I was finishing my thing. No, no, no! Um, right, what's around here? Oh, whoa! Finally! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right, um, all right, let's get out before it despawns. Oh! I've been here for so long, guys. Look at my Charizard's level. 54. I have been here for ages leveling off stuff. And finally... Yes, yes, yes! It's so good. Oh, okay, it's not rickety, but it is a Mareep. Let's throw him out. Let's evolve him. Let's evolve him. I mean, it doesn't really change for Flappy because it is pink, but no, we need to we need to level this guy right now. We need to get him all the way up to an Ampharos, 100%. Oh, and now there's an Ampharos here. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. We're going to have a shiny one of you in a minute. Yeah. His XP like? Oh, got all the way to 26. Yo, wait. You said death animation. Where's an odd enough again? <gasps> Gorva Square. Yes. Something got a little bit better. Finally. Oh, my God. Level 35. That's a joke. Uh, Electro Ball. They crit me. Thunder Shock. Oh, I've got to switch. I've got to share the XP now. Oh, doesn't matter. Fluffy! You can finally evolve. Yeah, we got our pink boy. Can I ride you? I can't. Oh, yeah, we got our pink boy, though. <gasps> Finally. Oh, it's an Adam and Nature, and we just got Thunder Punch. Oh, we still need special attack. Okay. Still. Oh! Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Our team's looking swagger now. I just realized. Just said swagger. And we're in 2024. We're in 2023. Quick look at the GTS again. Never hurts. Still see that shift through there. Um, is there anything else? Oh, that seems to be it. Maybe we could do some trades though and see if anyone's got shinies. We can potentially trade for it. Oh, hey there. What's up? Oh, it's Maldivian. Shout out to the first video, Maldivian. Okay, I've just been asked to TPA to Maldivian. And I don't know what he is going to show me, but... Okay. This looks pretty cool. I like this. I don't know where he's taking me. Got a plush oh, he's got a plushy room. Yo, this is cool. <laughs> I think he's just realized he can get it. <laughs> he's just realized. I'll let him go get it and I'll come back once he's got it. Uh. He has got so many plushes. Ah! He has got so many plushes, though. These are like. This is insane. Damn, that's so cool. Right. Well, Devon. Here you go. There we go. Let's see where he displays this. <laughs> yes! 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 Very good! Very good, yes! <laughs> that was great. I rate your base. 10 out of 10! This is very, very cool. Actually, you know what? Wait, what? The nugget. Oh! He's got a shiny gym, dude! <gasps> there we go! Oh! Thank you, thank you. What a legend. We've now got our third shiny Pokemon, a shiny Judo. Right, you know what? Let's evolve this thing straight away into Graveler. And now... 
Oh, there we go. So, me and Mo we are doing a trade just quickly. And we will trade it back. There we go. Raveler, can we now have open? Yes, we can to a shiny golem. Boom. We now have three shinies. That is insane. Golem, Ampharos, and Charizard. Three pretty good shinies. This one's a bit... It's a bit dull, but Golem's definitely a cool Pokemon. Okay, so I think what I was told to do was go to the Church of Bidoof. Um, of course, the admin's here. Church. No! <laughs> um, I'm now on a tour of the Church of Bidoof. Okay. Never know. If we play our cards, right? Oh, there's a level 100 Bidoof there. Oh, oh my god. What? Um, confess. <laughs> Do I go this side? Oh my god. One obtaining a shiny Bidoof. Oh no. The Bidoof chooses his partner. <laughs> <gasps> the father gifted me a Bidoof! <sighs> oh, wait! He's actually shining? <gasps> oh my god! I came to the church of Bidoof and got a shiny Bidoof! <gasps> Yo, we got another shiny! <laughs> no problem, Charles. Spread the word. <laughs> Guys, um... The Bidoof! <laughs> What is this? This is amazing, guys. You have to come visit the Church of Bidoof, and maybe you will obtain a shiny Bidoof. Well, that might have been the weirdest interaction I've ever done. I mean, we got a shiny Bidoof out of it, so... Yeah! I mean, it's another shiny! Can't complain. Okay, uh, I didn't really expect to have four shinies by this point. I thought maybe I'd have two, but... I mean, I guess what you need to do is have my plush and go visit the church of Bidoof, confess your sins, and fish bash bosh, you get a shiny Bidoof. I've just seen there's a warp to an ancient city. Where is it? Because I sort of want the loot in the ancient cities. Okay, yeah. Right, this realm is the correct one now. And we're in ancient city, and I have no armor. This will be interesting. Um, I've never even been in one of these before, so I don't even know what I'm looking for. But, I see a chest. I see two chests. Oh, Swift Sneak 3. I don't even know that's any good. Take the calciums. Let's definitely take the calciums. Let's take the iron. Maybe something good. Oh, oh, whoa. Protection for mending. These and thank you. Oh, Crinky. Let's go. Okay, we're back here. Uh oh. <laughs> Onyx, you scared me, bro. Calm down with that, right? Okay, I don't know if there's actually anything more. Right, I think. I think it's supposed to be been to, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Yes. Um, so we don't really care. Okay, I want to say that's most of what, what we can actually get here now. Right, let's go ahead. Let's go open up our two poker crates, please. Go on. Give me a plushy crate. Oh, give me plushy crate. Plushy crate. Quick balls, okay, not bad. So let's, this is a lot more relaxed here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And you know what? In the comments, you are gonna have to tell me what your favorite shiny Pokemon is. Shiny Charizard's pretty cool, but I think my favorite shiny Pokemon of all time has to be Mega Rayquaza, or just Rayquaza in general. It's my favorite Pokemon, and it's also it's shiny. Oh, mwah, affection. It's such good shiny. But let me know your favorites in the comments. Ooh, a Gyarados. Yes, please. Oh, oh. I forgot Pokemon kind of attack you, don't they? Um, oh, no. Go in the buff. Go. Oh. Oh. You sneaky, sneaky man. Um, oh. Are you going to be able to do anything? Oh, no. He's using Thrash. Golem should be fine. He resists it, surely. Uh, let's go rock throw. Oh, that was a crit. You're kidding. It's confused. Oh, he hit himself. I want to do it again. Hit himself again. Confused. No, oh, you saw a jump fam. Oh, no. Try Save us. 
Uh, Dragon Claw. Yeah. What a beast. I've just been told as well, guys, there's actually an event that's going to be happening in about, about 30 minutes time. And the winner gets 10 Halloween crates as well as a Drifloon hat. And that that is insane. Oh, I would love to win that event, especially since there's so many more items in the Halloween crates now. So we definitely need to participate in those and see if we can win. And maybe even those Halloween crates, we can get some good items, sell them, and potentially trade them for some shiny Pokemon. Ooh, there is a Vikabolt. Vikabolt, Vikabolt, Vikabolt. Oh, and 49. Bug punch. Bug buzz. Okay. Okay, let's try it here. Rock throw. I should use Spock and I'm immune. Ha <laughs> ha. Again, I'm immune. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Now it's got me. Right, you know what? We're going to be smart here. Bidoof. Switch to Charizard. And then Flamethrower. Boom. Perfect. Ooh, and look at that. Wait, look at Bidoof. We can learn. So he can evolve. But obviously, we've been told we cannot evolve it. That's just rules. You can't evolve a Bidoof. Like, who would ever evolve a Bidoof? Right, let's go back once again and let's heal up our team. Still got a little bit of time until that event. So we're going to be leveling until that event happens. Check this out. Wait, is that... I saw the sparkles, but that is such a good shiny. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I not even a bug type. Whatever. When you're in that ball. This thing looks insane. Oh, no, 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 no. Get there. No, no, no. Come back, come back, come back. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, we got it. Okay, okay. Damn. This thing looks so good. Let's go. Let's throw him out. Let's have a look. Yo, look at that. This thing looks insane. I'm super. Oh, well, yeah, you got a poke here, but I've got a shiny baby ghost. <laughs> Wait, what's happened to you? Um, I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> okay, guys, we are here for the event now, and you're going to be running around, and if one area gets blocked off and you're stuck in it, that's where you are, and it's chosen at random if you exit or not. So, it's a massive luck game, basically. Ooh, okay, I believe the event is just about to start. <laughs> oh, let's go. We've got to keep moving. I have no idea. What color do we want to go for? Um, oh, Jeff and Aya. Yo, Jeff and Aya. What a legend from the last video doing this. Let's keep moving, guys. Keep moving. And we don't want to stop. Oh, I don't know what color I want to end up in. Just got to keep moving. You know, I sort of want to aim towards the middle. I feel like the corners are where I'm going to be bad. So let's just stick around the middle here. Let's close. Okay, we are in orange. <laughs> purple out. Oh, we're not purple. We are safe for the first round. Yeah. Wait, surprise round. Three colors are going to be chosen. What? Oh. Okay, we're in pink. Oh, okay. There is a lot of us here. Surely we're safe. Oh, okay. He's still here. We are being stalked by Sheena Sensei. Oh, my God. Pink. No, we're pink. Oh. <gasps> We're already out on the second round. Okay, so we got our next event here at Moscow, and this thing is now massive, which is insane to see. <gasps> the shiny Bidoof called God. I don't really know the tactic for it. I think it's just to go super slow and survive the early bit. Oh, here we go, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, that was anticlimactic. Go. We can't go anywhere. The glass is in the way. There we go. Go. Okay. Right. We need to avoid all the early stuff and stay in rhythm with everyone. When the outside bits. Still going. Not bad. Not bad. No. Oh, we were doing so well. So to be fair, I didn't think we actually did too bad out there. I think we made it. We made it more than most people. I feel. I feel like we did quite good out there. Okay, guys. We're here in the next one. Colorful. Uh, I'm gonna go purple here. Is that how it works? How do I... Oh, crouch scan. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we're stuck in here. Um, I have no idea how this works. I can see a Wilson plush in there. Why is he everywhere? 
I don't really understand this, to be honest. I think it's just pure luck. I thought a go kart meant to, or the go kart, a mine kart meant to. My guess not. I guess it's just luck, please. You gotta have a look. Oh, that looks like purple. Oh no. I think purple three is us. Oh, purple four. Oh, oh we're purple three. Oh my god, guys. No. This is the complete wrong music, this by the way. Why is most chill music? It sounds like Animal Crossing music. That's purple. That's purple. <gasps> five. I don't know if I'm or not. I don't know if I'm Oh, he's there. Yeah, that was straight. Oh, oh no. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's getting me. He looked at me for so long. Purple, no. Purple five again. Oh my gosh. And it's a full now. Oh my gosh. That was three times. What's Ferg doing? Oh no. Oh no. No! 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 Okay, so this next one is called Icy Fall, and we have to have PvP on for this. No armor, no elytras, no nothing. Here we go. Oh, I thought, alright, we need to be in a bit of space, I think. Step back a little bit. Go! Right. Oh, watch. Oh, watch. Alright, just move. Just move. Just move. Just keep moving. Oh, someone fell. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, keep on one side. Just keep on this side. To be fair, we can just keep on this side right now. Doing okay. That was a bad hit. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, no. Oh, jump. Oh, big jump. Big jump. Let's go. Oh, no. Jeffinay is after us. Run. Right there, Jeffinay down. Oh, no. That was the wrong decision. Oh, no. That was the wrong decision. Oh, no. No. Oh. Look at this. Barely anyone left. Oh, you're kidding. Why didn't I just stop in a spot? Oh. Hey guys, next event. Corners of the star. No e personal Pokemon. Stand them around the colors and doors open. That random one color will be chosen to be eliminated and the last one wins. Okay, so a bit similar to our first game. Uh, but this time is just less to move around in, I guess. Oh, um, okay, we're here. We are we are we are here. First out is, come on, please don't be us, please don't be us. White, are we white? What? No, we're blue, we're blue. Oh my God, we're blue, we're blue. We're safe. <gasps> yes, we're safe this round. Oh, we're in blue again. Wait, oh my God. Okay, I feel like it can't be white three times in a row. I feel like that's just ridiculous if that's the case, but I feel like everyone's just going to camp into white though, aren't they? Uh, you know what? Nah, I'm trusting white. I trust white over here. With the cloud. In the cloud. You can't see us if we're in the cloud. But yeah, we are sticking on white. Yeah, we are here. We're here for it. Why is there a Gyarados in a tree? Yes! Safe. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I think that's... Where's yellow? Down over there. I think I had maybe two. Maybe just one. Wait, why is Smoliv that big? That's a Smoliv? Why is that big? Look at it. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Um. I didn't even realize. Oh. Uh-oh. A small have just got me out or a small have just saved me. No, small have killed us. <laughs> no. Damn you, small have. I was looking at the small have too much. Ah. Okay, guys. That's the event to have done for me. All the bias were chosen. Unfortunately, we're not there. So we'll have to come back and we'll have to come up with another plan of how we can get some money and get more shiny Pokemon. Right guys, Diablo has called me out here and he seems to have a book in his hand. I think this is actually meant to be for me. So let's see what Diablo's got for us. I love this Trevenant hand he's got as well. This looks sick. Oh, he's just signed it. Okay. Right. This book. Signed by Diablo. Oh, he's disappeared. Okay. Corp challenge list. Your first set of challenges is defeat 30 psychic Pokemon, capture 50 fairy Pokemon, gather 64 Apricorns, reward three Halloween great keys, and a special reward. Ooh, that sounds pretty interesting. I wonder what this could be. I wonder what the special reward could be. Okay, your second set of challenges is win a battle against another player. That's going to be tough. Capture a shiny dragon Pokemon and obtain a level 100 shiny Bidoof. Well, good thing we visited the Church of Bidoof earlier and we actually have a shiny Bidoof. So we just gotta get this guy to level 100. What's the rewards for this then? One special item and one shiny legendary Pokemon. 
Guys, we have to complete this. We can get a shiny legendary Pokemon. Let's do challenge one first, as that's the first one that was right now. And then we got to the second challenge afterwards. This is going to be tricky, though. Defeat 30 psychic Pokemon. Okay, we're going to have to make a book of our own so we can actually track how many psychic Pokemon we defeat and how many fairy Pokemon we actually capture. Oh, this is going to take so long. Okay, guys, I have been slaving away at these challenges and I'm pretty far off the it because I've still got 32, so I've still got half a sec to go. But for the Psychic Pokemon and also the Fairy Pokemon, we are one away on each. And just like that, there's actually two. There is two Fido's here. Fairy type Pokemon. Let's go. Come on, capture on the first ball. There it is. We can now take this off to 10 fairy pokemon and now we just need one more psychic pokemon to find and there it is guys here's the weird air the one to tip us over the scale i oh, was so close please no oh no i first fell at the last moment doesn't matter though we've got our golem let's go ahead use earthquake weird air has been defeated and with that weird air being defeated we have now defeated 30 psychic pokemon so now we just need half a stack of apricorns and i'm pretty sure i could get this either from the player base or if i just look around enough so i'll be back with you guys once i've got all these apricorns okay guys as you can see i've got my 64 apricorns now which means we have completed the first task and i was told to come all the way out here uh for something apparently i just got told to come to these coordinates oh there's a chest over here so for winning, we would get three Halloween great keys, which is insane, and one special reward. Okay, one of the special rewards going to be in here. Okay, let's open it up. Three Halloween great keys. Oh, yo! Oh, that makes sense now. The pink apricorns, fairy type, psychic types. We have a God of War, right, guys? That's insane. We can now get a Mega God of War. Oh wait. Oh no. I just realised that means we have to find the routes, doesn't it? We have to find a shiny routes. Okay. Well. We've got the spoke crate key and we've got the Halloween crate. So at least let's go to spawn. Also, guys, we go here. They've added Wilson and Rohawk. The two of us with our little plushies. Yeah, look at that. What's up? Yo, let's go. Okay, so let's hope we can might actually get a plushie key here. That'd be insane if we do. Ooh, okay, just some quick rules, but we have three of these to open. Let's just been added. So you have got different costumes now. So there is a Greninja costume, which would be pretty cool. So let's open up these three Halloween crate keys. And the first one we get. Okay, it's just a carved Gengar head to start off with. All right, let's start opening the second one. Come on. Please. Oh, that's a costume, is it not? Oh, yes. A zombie team aggro helmet. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> that's so cool. Halloween crate key. Last one. Come on. Oh, wait. It just did show. Oh, just show me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got the dust go scythe. Oh, my God. Whoa. Yo. Look at that. Yes. Oh, my God. I look so cool. Now, guys, if you come over here, you can see interact Halloween quest. And now, now, specific Halloween quest. So, if I go here. I have to deliver five phantoms, 20 cassaberries, and deliver 10 Gengars, and I get three Halloween crate keys. So, start this, and we now have a journal. I don't know what to do first, to be honest. You know, what? I'm gonna leave this challenge book for a bit because this is a long, long quest to go and complete. Okay, we need to get a level 100 team first, but this journal, we can definitely complete it, okay? We can definitely complete it. We can definitely deliver five phantoms. Actually, if I go back, were there not phantoms where I was? Uh, yeah, there are. Perfect. Okay, right. Let's go quick balls. Right. Let's catch five phantoms and I'll be back with you guys once I've caught them. Yeah, I can see loads of these around, honestly. Yeah, this won't take long at all, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we've got our five phantoms here. Let's give them in. 
Delivered five. There we go. And now that we've delivered our five phantoms, our next one is to get 20 Cassip Berries. That's pretty hard to find. So let's just see if we can check the GTS. Maybe somebody's selling these somewhere. Ooh, left it. It's not bad. They are four and a half thousand. How much money do we have? Okay, we're going to have to somehow get this money so that we can actually get 20 Cassip Berries. Okay, guys. So what I've just said is I've sold my Gengar carved head for 7,000. Let on the price, but now we have 7,000 poker dollars. Which means that we can go here and hopefully the cassette berries perfect these are four and a half thousand, five thousand. All right, cool. Let's buy this. Now let's go ahead and go to the Halloween quest and deliver 20 of them. Done. Now all we have to do is deliver 10 Gengars and I think going to the nether is going to be the best place to do that. Okay, guys, we have found our very first Gengar. Level 52, you are a scary Pokemon. There we go, captured. First time. And that is one Gengar off this. You know what? They're coming in thick and fast. Where's our journal? Okay, so we're going to have to go back to spawn every time we need to deliver them. So let's actually find 10 Gengars to capture first. And then we will be back. Well, that took a while. Oh. Right, I've got my 10 Gengars. Let's, let's drop all these guys out. Let's go over... So Halloween quest, interact, deliver 10 Gengars. All right, one, two, three, four, boom, completed. And we have three more Halloween crate keys. Hmm, this could be interesting. You know, I sort of want one of the helmets or I want a new costume because this is quite a nice costume, but I would love a Pokemon costume. Let's go. First thing, come on, give me a costume. Give me a costume. What is that? Charizard chest. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. A second one. Come on. Oh, a Trevenant helmet. And the last crate key coin. Give me an entire costume. Gone. Okay. Just a jack o' lantern. A Yamas jack o' lantern, actually. But that was pretty cool, to be honest. Can I get another load of quests, actually? Ended. Um. What well, well, if I can spawn? Oh, uh, your Badoobal, there's been loads spitting out. Yeah, with the Badoobal, let me just read you the 100 page story of the life of Badoob. There's so much to say. I think there's a chance if you go up to these people, there's a trick or treat guy here, obviously, we claim from him. But if you go up to the other people, there's actually a chance, I think, of you getting a trick or treat. Maybe gold's getting or something? Yeah, look, see? You go around and you can collect so much candies for this. Guys, I found SpongeBob. Good afternoon, sir. SpongeBob. Can we interest you in some chocolate? Ooh, thanks, SpongeBob. We gotta go find. Is that Ash? I see Ash. We need to go get Ash. Ash. Hello. What are you gonna go so? Have you seen my Pikachu? No, but can you give me stuff? Yay! Thanks, Ash. It's Bob Ross. <gasps> thanks, Bob Ross. Good kind guy. All right, guys, we got 30 medium candies, 33 extra large, and 28 large. So we are going to use all of these right now. And you know what? Let's throw some of these on Charizard. Oh, no. I'm going to get him to level 65. Now, I'm going to get everyone else to level 6 Charizard. It's a phantom. 65. Perfect. The doof. Let's give you some big ones. Oh, there we go. 64. 65. 65 for Golem, and finally, Ampharos. 65. Perfecto Amundo. We still have quite a lot left over, so... I think we get our first level 100 Pokemon, and I'm going to give it to Bidoof. I'm going to get Bidoof all the way up, so let's use all these medium XP candies. Yum, 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 yum. Lovely, and let's use all these large XP candies. Ooh, is this going to be enough, I wonder? 84, 12 now. 5, 7, 88, 89. This is going to be so close. 98, and guess what we have? 35 rare candies as well. So we now have our level 100 Bidoo, which is perfect. Okay, guys. The owner has told me to wait here. I'm not sure what for, uh, but I'm looking out of the church, so I assume he might be coming out of the church over there. Here he comes. Oh. 
Oh my god. How many Bidoofs? <laughs> this looks insane. It's a mistake. Oh, it's gonna be a shulker box. What's in it? Oh, wait, this is sick. Hold on. From Splex. I need our shoes. Hold on. We got, we got to, we got to try this out. Let's, um, let's quickly, you know, we can open up in the church here. Bro, he says we're gonna want papaya. <laughs> this is great. Oh, hold on. Right, let's, uh, oh, that's sick. Okay, membership. Right, let's, oh, wait. Oh, what? You sure? Oh, collector's edition. Yo. Oh, you know what? My favorite number is 16, so I'm going to take the 16th one. Yo, that's six flex. Thank you so much. That's insane. Hold on, right? Let's quickly read this membership here. This book can act as both your car key and proof you're a member of the Church of Badoo. Yes, we are now a member. And then we've got the Badoo and a special gift. These boots are one of one. They are admin made and can only be worn by Rohawk himself. This item will always stay with him, no matter what. The feature of the boots, protection for flower protection for fire Splex. Actually, oh, wait. I have two extra hearts. Yo, this is sick. Enjoy the new gift. I will enjoy the new glove. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, that was insane from Splex, where he is just giving us that. So guys as well, we have also completed one of our first quests, that being obtaining a level 100 shiny Bidoof. We now need to capture a shiny dragon Pokemon and win against another player. Oh, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? We need to find a shiny dragon Pokemon, so we need to hope that we actually find the right dragon Pokemon. But also, the fact we have to beat another player in a battle, which means we definitely have to get a level 100 team. So you know what, actually, I'm going to see if anyone's available to quickly help me evolve my Phantom. Okay, guys, we've got Sheena Sensei here, and we are gonna go into a trade. Sheena Sensei, accept trade. Oh, wait, no, he's not. No, 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 no. He's giving me. Wait, accept the trade. Okay, surely he wants it back. Yeah, he does. There we go. Traded it back, and let's go to our Phantom and evolve him into a shiny Trevenant. Jeez, look at him. That is insane. Right, so for this part of the video, guys, I decided I would complete the next challenge on our mini challenge in capturing a shiny Pokemon each realm. And because the nether is quite hard to traverse, I decided to make myself a mini platform. This will then make my life easier. And hopefully, if a shiny does spawn, it's more noticeable for me to see. Okay, guys, we have now finished it. It's not too big. I might still expand it out, to be fair. But I've had a few things spawn up here. I had a few gases and stuff. Not to mention, I basically cleared out a flat area over here. So I can always go searching over here for different things as well. We've got a little platform. We've got a home there. And now it's just a matter of time waiting for a shiny to potentially spawn. Also, guys, while we are waiting for a shiny to spawn in the nether, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I wanna be the Wait, oh, it's a shiny! <gasps> it's Slugma! Oh, ah! Just hit me. Slugma? You know what that means? Slugma! Yeah, shiny Slugma! Ooh, wait, can you evolve? Oh, you can't evolve yet. Wait, can I? Right, level 38, okay. Oh, we have a shiny Macago! Yo, that guy looks sick. So guys, it's only taken us till day 56. I've been in the nether so long. Look at my team's levels. Till day 56 to get a full team of shiny Pokemon. That is insane. With our new Makaga now obtained though, guys, we actually only have to go to the end to get our next shiny Pokemon. And I think that's what I want to do, to be fair. I'm not sure what Pokemon actually spawn in the end, though. I think it's just a lot of unknowns and I think just the Paradox Pokemon. But let's go have a look. Okay, so I think it might just be 
Unknowns. Oh no, there's other Pokemon in here. There's Golurt. Okay. While we're just running around the end looking for our shiny Pokemon, guys, there's a few things we still actually have to complete in these 100 days. Obviously, we've got to capture a shiny Pokemon in the end, which is going to be a difficult challenge in itself. Then we've actually got a challenge book set by Diablo to complete. Not to mention, we've actually got hope to get a proper shiny team, which is good enough to win a battle against Diablo. We've also obviously got to find a shiny Ralts as we have the Gardevoir, right? And I really want to use a mega shiny Gardevoir. That would be insane. So there's still a lot of work and there's not that many days left, guys. So you got to wish me a lot of luck and hoping we can find that many shiny Pokemon. Oh, wait, did I miss the message? What's the big attention? Wait. Oh my God. No, that shiny couldn't have actually been better. No way. A shiny Spiritomb. <gasps> I've only seen like a few Spiritombs around here. Like, this is a Beldum Sorg. Ah, is that it? No. No, please don't come here. No, 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 no. On oh, cargo, yes. Wait, did we catch it? <gasps> Yo, we actually caught it. Wait, okay, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no, go back spawn. Oh, no. Do we spawn? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no. It's hurting me. Look, Macargo, help. Yes, Macargo, what a legend. Oh, okay. Let's go back to spawn and let's see this Spiritomb. Okay, guys, let's check them out. A shiny Spiritomb. That means now we've actually completed our mini challenge of capturing a Pokemon in every single realm, being the end, nether, and also the overworld. I don't want to swap my cargo out, but I feel like it might be the best choice because we already have a fire type. Oh, uh, yeah, let's swap them out for Macargo for now, but I think we're going to use them over and over again. We're going to keep changing. Yes, a shiny Spiritomb. That's insane. Okay, guys, let's throw them out. Oh, no! Look how sick he looks. That's insane. Oh, no. So this is the problem now. We've got a full team of six already. We've actually got seven now, but I'm still going to get at least two more shinies one of them being a legendary if we complete Diablo's book. So guys, I've actually decided I'm going to go to the marketplace. This looks insane. It has upgraded so much since we were last here. But I don't think there's going to be actually any shiny Pokemon on the GTS. So I'm going to spend all my money. How much money do we actually have? 15,000. I'm going to spend all of this on rare candies. And XP candies to get our team to level 100 as a focus. So I think I've found a pretty good deal here for uh, rare candies. That being only 1,000 Pokemon. Let's see, is it sold out? Oh, we can buy some of these. Okay, let's buy as many as we can. So can we actually buy 15? We can. Perfect. So now we have these 15 rare candies. It's actually smart for us to not spend them as we need to get the best value out of this. So what's best to do is use our rare candies when we're closest to level 100. So we're going to have to go back out into the wild and keep searching and defeating as many Pokemon as possible so that we can earn money. Okay, guys, while I'm leveling, we've actually managed to get eight Pokecrate keys. So I'm going to open up these while we're still searching for that shiny dragon Pokemon. I haven't decided what one I want to get yet. Ooh, 5,000 Pokedoz. Perfect. That means we can go buy some XP candies. And more money. 2.5k. Not bad. Even more money. Yeah, let's go. Again, more money. Wait, what is this? Four in a row. Oh, just money. Oh my god, what is this? Come on, no way. Oh, is that sh oh, okay. I thought it was a random shiny Pokemon. Oh, not great then. Come on. Ooh, more money. What is this last one? Come on. Oh my gosh, seven out of eight were money. And look at that, 38,000 Poker Dollars. Okay, back in the marketplace, we actually did get quite a bit of... Wait, oh wait, oh my God, I didn't realize how many rare candies we got. You know what, this might actually get us there. Let's look all of these quickly. On to Spiritomb. Is this enough, guys? Oh, I think it's going to be, it's going to be so close though. Oh, we are so close, guys. Okay, we just need a few more rare candies for Trevenant and Golem. To be fair, 30 or so. No, we need to get some XP candies before we actually get the rare candies. 100%. Okay, guys, we might have found the cheapest shop here, actually. 900 for rare candies, 2,800 for some extra large. Let's see, is there anything here? There is some. You know what, let's get, let's get 10. Right, let's see how much this does on Golem then. How much money do we have left? 10,000. Oh, you're kidding. 
One, two, three. Two, three. Okay, how much money? 2,000. Oh, we can't even buy another one. Okay, let's just buy two red candies. One, two, boom. Right, seven. Let's hold on to these for now. Okay, we need to keep going out to level. And then we still got so much to do on Trevenant. Okay, guys, we've got a new Pokemon here. I have been running around for ages. As you can see as well, I've got my team's levels up pretty high. I have been absolutely non-stop on leveling my team up. Golem and Trevenant are super close. And we just need that little bit extra. But still, I have found no shiny Pokemon. I've been going around for ages, just leveling, leveling, leveling. I think it's almost time, to be fair. Just throw... Yeah, you know what? Golem's on uh, 96. Let's do this one on Trevenant. Right, let's get Golem all the way up. To level 100, at least. There we go. That's one more level 100. Now, we just need a few more levels on Trevenant. Wait, no, that's got to be a joke, right? Wait, you're trying to run to the... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Yo, 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 no way. No way. Holy. Guys, there's no shot. I'm just trying to leveling Trevenant. There is no shot that's just happened. Please. Oh, yes, let's go. Of all the Pokemon to spawn. Yes. We can actually get Mega Cardboard now. That's insane. Now, guys, I'm going to upset you a little bit. I'm going to put the rods away for now. That's only because I'm so close to getting Trevenant all the way up to level 100. As soon as I get to the 100 team, I am then going to go challenge a player. Once all that's done, we just need to find a shiny dragon Pokemon. And then we are going to get our reward of a special arm and a shiny legendary Pokemon. I'm hoping this will be like a Mega Rayquaza or something. This would be insane. Right, guys, I've been running around for ages. And finally, I've got my Trevenant all the way up to level 97. So we can actually get him. To level 100 now, which is perfect. We now have an entire team of level 100 Pokemon. And now I'm going to see if anyone in chat wants a battle. Okay, we have found an opponent, guys. It's not the server owner, but it's an admin. Our fellow Church of Bidoof follower. Okay, Splex, let's do this. Challenge to a battle. Here we go. Charizard versus Metagross. Okay, right. Is he going to stay in? I don't know. You know what? We're going to go for that flamethrower, though. Ooh! Oh, wait. Oh, no way. He had to have a sturdy, right? He lived on one HP. That's a joke. Okay. Luckily, we went for the iron defense. Oh, I've got the bullet punch still. Okay. Okay, not too bad. A good start for us, though. A very good start for us. Oh, okay. Shiny Greninja. Has he got a full shiny team as well? No way. Okay. We're definitely going to have to switch out here. Who to, though? Let's go Ampharos. Let's go to Ampharos. Come on, what's he gone for? But water shuriken, please, not too much damage. Okay, that's doable. How many times did it hit as well? Five times. Okay, that's the max it could do, really, then. 100% go for that discharge. Sensory, we're fine. Discharge, boom! Let's go, come on. Who have we got next? Ooh, Trevenant. You know what? Let's switch to Spiritomb. Let's go Spiritomb and hopefully use the Horn Leech. That's fine. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. Bait attack. Ooh, Shadow Ball. Almost takes him out. Okay, we need to do some more damage. 100% then. Let's go. You know, let's try a Sucker Punch. See how much this does. Boom. Boom. Sucker Punch takes him out. Make sure we're quick as well. This is going so well for us, guys. Oh my god, a shiny Umbreon. <gasps> That's sick. Yo, okay. Um, I don't think we can stay in here. I'm going to switch to Ampharos. Hopefully, Ampharos can live a hit from Umbreon. Dark Pulse. Yes, we have. Okay. Are we quicker is the question. Discharge. <gasps> Why did I go Discharge? Not Dazzling Gleam. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh, shit. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, he switched. To Ursa Luna. Oh, that's, that's a ground type. Okay, right. Let's just go for the Dragon Pulse then. Not bad damage. Went for the Moonblast. Right. Okay. Let's go Spiritomb. And let's go for... Let's go Sucker Punch again. Okay, not bad. Oh, the Moon Blast. Let's go Trevenant. Let's go to show... This should have been my first switch, to be fair. Horn Leech. Come on. Okay, Horn Leech takes down the Ursa Luna. Perfect. Absolutely love that design as well. Oh, okay. 
The shiny Vanuke, you know what? Let's go. Let's do this. Shiny Vanuke, the shiny Vanuke. Oh no, we in trouble. Uh, super pretty faster. Oh, he sword stands. Oh, okay, he's got a sword standing for doom. Uh oh. Superpower. What did he do? Wait, am I in the way? Am I faster? Oh, he used super fang and super fang made us half our HP. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, wait. But do superpower. <laughs> okay, right. Let's go Charizard. Surely this is gonna be big damage here. These guys are just nodding at each other right now. What is this? Ooh, okay, not a lot. Not too bad though. Right, let's go for another. Actually, let's try air slash just to maybe try and flinch it. No, damn. Okay, let's just go flamethrower, hopefully. Just held on. Okay, one more flamethrower has got this thing down. Perfect. <gasps> and that's it, guys. <gasps> We've actually won. We've been admin of the server, yes! This is another one off the challenge book. And now we have to do is capture a shiny dragon Pokemon. Oh, we can do this, guys. Okay, guys, Spurks just said he's got a reward for us. Hey. Oh, wait, another one? Oh, wait, no, it's Bidu. Oh my god. What? What? Oh. We have just got a Master Ball, a cash note for $100,000, and a Bidoof head. Yes! Let's claim this cash note. Boom, $100,000. And this mass ball. That is super helpful. Okay, wait, that. Oh my god, wait, that mass ball is actually perfect. Let's go spawn quickly and let's go grab our routes. Because then we'll actually be able to buy potentially all the XP candies and rare candies we need. If rare candies are only 100,000 each, we can get our routes into our guard all the way up to level 100 already. That's perfect, guys. Okay, let's go to the marketplace and do that right away. Let's over Wait, I've overbought, anyways. Yes! Okay, right then, guys. Let's get it all the way to level 100. I don't care. Let's go level 100 straight away. Let's have a level 100 for Alts. Boom. Level 100. Oh, I actually got the perfect round of cannons. I didn't even realize. Level 100 routes. Right, let's evolve you. Hurlia! And finally... Gardevoir! Boom! Amazing. Right. So now, guys, we're going to give this the Gardevoir to make it a Mega Gardevoir. Oh, this is honestly one of the best looking shiny mega Pokemon out there. And I'm so happy we've got this on our team. With this, it just leaves us one challenge left in the challenge book, and that's to get a shiny dragon Pokemon. And then we'll get a shiny legendary Pokemon. We end up going out and finding a bunch of Poker Crate keys, and also we end up getting attacked by a load of Pokemon, but unfortunately, no shiny dragon Pokemon. However, we still have a few days left and hopefully we'll get it soon. Guys, I do not know how long I was there searching in the desert for a shiny dragon Pokemon, either trap and trickable. I've been there for ages. I've managed to get myself 16 Poker Crate keys. I'm hoping to get a plush crate out of this. I won't be able to complete the many challenges we set at the start of the video. Ooh, some more money. We don't really need money right now though. Ooh, a Pokemon? What was it? A Machamp. We need that to be a shiny Pokemon next time. Can you get them here? You can get a random shiny Pokemon. This is a dragon. Oh, we have to hope that happens for us. Ooh, yeah. We got a Halloween Great Key. There we go. That's insane. Okay, final one, guys. Come on. Please. Oh. <gasps> We were actually so close to getting it. I saw the shiny egg. Oh, no. Halloween Cranky, be good to us. Come on. Oh, no. We got the Greninja outfit. Hold on. Okay, sorry, but we got to take that off. Yo, that's insane. Okay, we're switching our boots back on. Okay, we are keeping this Greninja outfit on to finish off. Oh, I wish we could have the Greninja hat. And the Badoo Pound on at the same time. Okay, guys, I didn't actually realize how much money we had just got. We just got 90k. What's in the item shop? Okay. Is there a plushy crate key we could buy? Just one plushy crate key, surely. We're going to go to the marketplace and we're going to see if anyone is selling plushy keys. Potentially get a shiny plushy that we have to go out and capture as well. And maybe even it'll be a dragon for us. 39,000. This shop's empty. Okay. 39,000. Oh, this shop's empty. Oh, you're kidding. I didn't even see that. Are any of the plushy shops actually open? Oh god, I didn't even check if any of them were actually open and had them in the store. Okay, this one does, but it's 50,000. 
Right, you know what, guys? We've got one chance. 50k. Let's buy it. So, whatever we get out of this, we have to go capture it. Maybe we've already got it, though. <gasps> we got a Pikachu. You could not write. We have to go find a shiny Pikachu. Okay, guys. I've now got a difficult choice. Do I go ahead and try and capture a shiny dragon Pokemon? Or a shiny Pikachu first. I think I want to go for the shiny dragon first. Even though this Pikachu plushie is so cute. Look at him. I got it. Oh, I'm going to go for the dragon first. I've been searching for so long already. And we don't have that many days left. And I need to see what this shiny legendary Pokemon is. Wait, no, finally. Yes. Shiny Trapinch. So actually as well, Trapinch isn't even a dragon Pokemon. So we need to level this guy up. And luckily we have 20 rare candies. Let's throw Trapinch out. And let's fill it with all these rare candies here. Right. Shiny Vibrava. Shiny Flygon. Oh yeah. We've finally got our shiny dragon Pokemon. So that's it done, correct? Second challenge. Win a battle against another player. We beat Splex. Capture a shiny dragon Pokemon. We've got our Flygon and obtain a level 100 shiny Bidoof. We actually have two. Okay, guys, I've been given my special items and that was 32 proteins and 32 carbos. I'm a bit worried because that's nothing too special. Maybe that means that this shiny is going to be insane. Okay, come on, please. Shiny legendary. Oh, my days, it is. If you guys didn't know, Rayquaza is my favorite Pokemon. And it's shiny makes it look insane. I'm sorry, we've just got Flygon, but we're dropping Flygon out quickly. We need to go put all these items on him. Wait, do we have stuff in our backpack as well? Oh, we do. Oh, we do. We are going to make the strongest Rayquaza possible. Right, we're here, guys. And we are going to throw everything onto this Rayquaza here. Max that speed up 100%. Oh, he is max in speed. And look at this. Max in attack. Okay, there is no chance to record against me. Look at the attack stat. So, guys, we thought with this, the special, we thought we might be getting a mega. No, we got some of the medical items to make Rayquaza the strongest possible. We cannot lose now. Hello, Hawk. How's Hello. it going, man? Hello. Hi, I like um, the uh, I like the armor set you've got going on here. Thanks. Um, I, I've also got my 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 very very Adidas Adidas papaya. Yeah, season. listen, nobody asked. Anyway, um, so I'm actually currently recording a video, and I actually need your help with evolving a Haunter into a Gengar. Yeah. F first off, what I want to actually show you is look, we got we got our guys over here, Wilson. Look at this. Look, we can stand together. Oh yeah, cool. Didn't ask. Anyway, let's go to the trading machine. I mean, we can just trade here. Look, if I just right click on you. Wait, what? Or if I press R on you, sorry. Yeah, let's see. Oh, oh. see? Look, you can see each other's teams. Oh, look at your team. Ooh. I know, it's Ooh. sick, isn't it? Oh, hold on. Sorry, my, my mask having a bit fit. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, uh, right. Uh, yeah, so just, um, just, just look at the name of that haunter real quick. No, Wilson. That's right, Wilson, right. trade it back. Get scammed. Let's go. Wilson, Wilson, trade it back. Wilson, no, 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 come back, come back, Wilson. You are an no. idiot, honestly. No, Wilson, Comment Wilson, down Wilson, below. I'll do anything that to get it back, is bro. a stinky loser because I'll you just anything. lost your mega Gardevoir and it's shiny too. Oh my gosh. Now, the only way you're going to get that Gardevoir back is if you're you a nice friend and you give it to me. a certain challenge for me. Yeah, do you know what? Call me sir. Say, say yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. No, say that. Come on. no. Okay, well then I guess no Gardevoir for you then. What, what was the magic words? The two magic words? What was that? Let me hear that. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Anyway, in order to get your Mega Gardevoir back, the shiny one, of course, you need to get me a stack of diamonds so I can bling myself out with some cool armor. You need to get me 10... What are you wearing? Get that off your head right <laughs> now. You need to get me 10 Poke crates. Okay, okay, okay. So, so a second of is 10, 10 poke crate keys, yeah? Yeah, that's correct. Cool. And nice. a shiny Breloom, because that's my favorite Pokemon. What? I want a shiny Breloom, so. Wilson, I'm doing a shiny only 100 days. You know how hard it is to get shiny Pokemon? Unlucky, mate. Um, You better get on. I've only got 10 days left. Yeah, so with 10 days left, you better get started because uh, you haven't got long. See you around, you loser. 
Um, and I Why can't wait so to get my stack of time, diamonds bro. and all my other rewards. Let's go. Get scammed, kids. Scammer gets scammed. Woo. I guess we've got to complete this challenge for us then. We've got to get a stack of diamonds, tempo crate keys, and a shiny balloon. But I need to... Oh. Guys, we're going to have to miss out on that plushy Pikachu. We're going to have to miss out on the shiny Pikachu. We have to. Right, guys. We have some diamonds here. 200. You know what? 200 is fine. Is 200... Right. Can we buy a stack here? Yes, we can. Right. We already have our stack of diamonds. Now, let's see if we can find some poker crate keys. I'll check a few more places, guys. But honestly, it's not looking promising for what we can actually buy here. We're going to have to go out in the wild and search for this while searching for a shiny Breloom or a shiny Shroomish at least. And then we can evolve it into a Breloom. Oh, Wilson, man. He's always doing this stuff to me all the time. You know what, guys? I've actually got a great plan. What if when Wilson asks for the Breloom, we give him the Breloom. After we give it to him, let's say, hold on. I want to put some Poker Builder coins in it so we can make it the best Breloom just for you, Wilson. And we trade back with a rubbish Pokemon that we're not going to use. Not a shiny Pokemon. And then, boom, we've got a shiny Breloom ourselves. But at least this way, we scam Wilson back out of it after he scammed us. Ooh, we've actually got a perfect star in this Pokemon Center. Okay, two great keys off the bat. Anything in this? No, unfortunately. Okay, we just need to find where should we actually spawn. I want to say it's in Dark Oak Forest. And hopefully, hopefully we can find Shroomish a lot there. Oh, wait, uh, there, there's a shiny Shroomish in the Dark Forest. And it's as close play as me. Oh, no, where is it? No, we have to find this thing. We have to actually find it. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait, I see sparkles. Oh, yes. Wait, let's get in it. Oh, okay, I don't know when the next book wipe is. Okay. Um, let's capture this thing right now. Get in the ball. Yes, we got the shiny shroomish. Okay, last thing to do, guys. RTP out, and we need to get four more poker keys. So we need to find some Pokemon centers, something. And yes, 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 yes. <gasps> One more, guys. Come on. Some more leftovers. Come on. It's not a great key, though. No, come on. I really hope this chest has something for us. Yes. Yes, that's insane. Okay, I need to get Wilson back here so we can get our shiny Mega Guard one. And also, potentially trick him out of this shiny Shroomish. Oh, we actually need to evolve it, don't we? Okay, I'll evolve it, get to a Breloom, then I'm going to try trick Wilson. Right, guys, okay. Wilson just told me to meet him at the back of a Pokemon Center. I actually see him there. What is Wilson doing? <sighs> oh, Maxello, my friend, my slimy friend. Um, I've got to go meet Real Hawk now. He's that loser that I scammed earlier. Do you remember? Yeah. Wait. Hang on. Was there a Bidoof? Oh. I thought I saw hey. a Bidoof. Uh, no, oh, you're see. in a bike. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I've got your items oh. for you, okay? Oh. So here's, here's a stack of diamonds that I definitely mind. Let's uh, go. Here's, here's Tempo Ooh. Crit Keys. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. And, and here you go. Here, here you go. Right. Trade. No, come here. Trade. Come down to my going? ship. This is my ship. Your ship? Yep. I actually uh, arrived on uh, on this island here. Oh, This on. is terrible. What do you mean? It's one block by. <laughs> Run me my shiny <laughs> right. breloom, all right? Okay, right. Look, look. Oh! See? Right, put my shiny guy for it. Wait, what is that? Um, special attack? Disgusting. Yeah, but you can change it. All right, there we go. As promised. Wait, what? Hang on, no, I'm not doing that. What? Oh, you're Maril. Oh, okay. You caught me. I tried to scam you yourself. Oh, Fine. God. There you go. Okay. There we right. go. Oh, oh wait, Wilson, Wilson, quickly. Uh, quick, uh, yeah, I'll go back. It's fine. Just trade back quickly. <sighs> I've got some. I've got some. Um, what? Well, you know, you see my uh, uh, special attack and stuff. Yeah, I'll trade it back because I've got some uh, Poker Builder coins. I'll get. I'll actually do it better. At least I could do it for you, sir. I mean, I mean, you could just call me sir. I mean, wait, how? Why are you? Why are you treating me with Maril? Why am I treating you Maril? Because Maril's great. But what if you take Breloom? Why would I take Breloom? Uh, to be fair, yeah. All right, right, do the um. Wilson has just then... been scammed. What? Yes, I got my guard of and the Breloom back. Yeah, what? let's go. Are you kidding oh, me? Wilson. No, no, I'm having that TPA. Oh, oh, no, yeah. Accept that TP right now. Accept that TP right now. Then... Accept that TP right now. I did. What the frick? Hey, give me the shiny Breloom. Well, at least you use diamonds in your poker crate, keys. Oh, no, what the? See this trash can right here? Yeah, that's him. Oh, correct, he's Why don't you plushy in there? That's where it belongs. Uh, Go on, call me sir. No. Go on, call, call me sir. Call me sir. I might give you the brown. Mr. Potato. It is Who's potato. better, me or real hawk? Come me sir. Go on, Wilson. 
No, I'm waiting for Mr. Potato. Don't give it an answer, mate. Mr. Make Potato, really give us an answer. Silence as well. Come on, Mr. Potato, please. Yes! Oh, yes! wow, Mr. Potato <laughs> said you're better. Let's go. Congratulations. But I have a shiny brelon. Do you want it? Do you want the shiny brelon? We're all better. Shush. Well, oh, Moosin, look at me. I see you there. I so see you see, you. kids, the moral of the story is that you shouldn't ever scam anyone. No, because nothing good you're going to get scammed comes back. from being a scammer. You get scammed back, you lose everything. Yeah. You lose your friends, you lose your Pokemon, and most importantly, you lose clout. Okay, you don't you don't lose clout. But anyway, subscribe to Wilson on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash YT Wilson. Get subscribing, people. Peace out, you weirdo. Ah! Right, guys, I can't believe it actually worked on him. We got a shiny Brelloon, but not more importantly, we actually got a shiny Mega Gardevoir back. All it cost us was a little bit of money, a little bit of time for the crate keys. Oh my god, we now need to decide the team that we're going to use against Diablo on this day 100 person still salty ass. <laughs> right, guys, we are finally here, day 100, and I'm at the arena waiting for Diablo, but he hasn't made a server announcement or anything, and. Do, 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 I just TP? Do. Oh, well, Wilson's here at least. Do Wilson, can you get off? Me and Dabble are about to have a battle on here. Nope. Do you mean no? Nope. Guess what? What? So, picture this. After you scanned me, I was mad. I was angry. And I, I didn't know how to control this anger that I had inside me. I remember you saying something along the lines of that you were getting ready for your fight with Diablo. And it gave me an idea. So I decided to message Diablo and I said, Hey, Diablo. I don't think you need to do this fight later on because I'm going to take your place. He was happy for the idea and that's how I'm here now. So I'm taking you on in this day 100 battle and I will take you down. So throw out your first Pokemon. Let's do this then. You're getting destroyed. Be prepared. Am I? Get taken down. Is that so? I thought you might do that. So that's why I did this. Yes. Spikes? Ooh, pretty good. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I thought you might do that. Go Blazerkin! Dazzling Gleam. Did pretty good damage. Come on. Yes, I get the burn. And That's I huge. get the para. The no! static. Oh, Wilson. Oh. That's speed boost, to be fair. You might be faster. But Wilson. Come on. Yes! You get taken down. Damn. Damn. Loser. Okay. loser, loser. Let's go. Getting, getting those speed boosts in. You know what? Let's Come go on, here. Blazerkin. Spiritomb. Shadow Sneak. Oh, it's not enough. <gasps> yes. No. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 Do, 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 do. You're so bad. You're oh, a loser. No. Oh, Come no. on. You ain't killing me with another Shadow Sneak. It's not going to happen. Come on. Blaze a good sweep. Blaze a good sweep. Yes. We take the hit. Let's go. Damn. Hawk, your team is stinky, man. What's going on? <laughs> your team's just full of. Uh... Hey there. Should have done this in the first place, to be honest. That was really silly of me. Um, go, Maril! What? You give yourself a level 100 Maril? Remember, the Maril that you scammed me with is now going to take down your strongest Pokemon. Go, Maril! No, I'm no! Not. <laughs> it's fine. I have a Willem. Ooh. I have the goat. You know what? Kyoga. I am a member of the Church of Badoof! No, Bidoof! Bidoof is a you? loser, honestly. What a loser. Imagine having a Bidoof on your team. What a freak show, honestly. Ooh, ooh. Yes! Swapped out. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. When your Lucario is immune, why is it immune? Why are you trying to make my Lucario fall in love? My Lucario is not a simp, all right? Ooh, the switch. You're a smart lad. I'll give you that. Ooh, you failed to use a flamethrower. <laughs> why did I fail? You fail because I have Primordial C, which is against all fire type moves. <laughs> you missed. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, 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 please. No, 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 please. Yes. Come on. Come on. yes. No. Take it down. Let's go. Come on, please, please, please. Come on, Mega Ooh, God of War. Ooh, God of War. Switches Come on out. back, Willem. Ooh, oh, no. No, 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 please, no, no, please. Yes! No! Take it down! Come on, baby! Woo -woo 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 -woo. Oh, um. Hit there! Come on! Big damage! Big damage! Yeah, I'm faster. Uh, oh. <laughs> Luckily, I have Willem. That is a Willem. <laughs> Damn! Okay. 
Oh. It was really no! cute for you to try them out, you know? <gasps> Ninja. Damn, okay, this is going to hurt. Am I about to get defeated by the real hawk? 016. I think not. Night Slash, go! Yes! Is oh, that no. it? He's got one more. I didn't want to use this against you, Hawk. I'm sorry, man. I didn't want to you use this. You have it, don't you? You have, it. You have the Mega Rayquaza. No! Mega Rayquaza! No way. I can't believe it. It's Who's down faster? to this. Mega Rayquaza or Shiny Rayquaza? Whoa. Shiny oh, Rayquaza! <laughs> yes! That is it, is no. it not? I can't believe. That is it! Yes! Oh, I Shiny Rayquaza. Your Mega Rayquaza. This is it. Mega Rayquaza. Rayquaza loves me. No. We defeated How could this be? Shiny team. No. You know what? To settle this, I think there's only one way to do it. I think that we need to spend another 100 days in Cobblemon together. But every few days, we're going to have a rival battle. And whoever becomes victorious by day 100 is the ultimate Cobblemon champion. You know what, Wilson? I accept that challenge.